Good evening, welcome to the two new view and second edition of Match Day Live today. Uh, we've all already had the Ladies League Cup final, which unfortunately didn't go our way. Uh, Newcastle United ladies beaten by hashtag United Ladies 2 1. But now we have England versus Brazil. And I welcome Stato to the show. How are you, Stato? Not too bad. A little bit, little bit rushed this evening. Had a bit of a beer spillage just before uh, kickoff, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you are new to the channel and you haven't seen us before, please give us a subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 29,000 subscribers. Uh, hit the like button. That really helps us out too. Uh, memberships are also available by clicking the join button, as Claire S has done here. So welcome to Members Club Claire. Uh, and also Super Chats are too available by clicking the dollar sign underneath the chat there. And you can donate whatever you fancy to the channel, which really helps the channel out. Uh, let's have a look at the side. Stato, have you seen the side yet? I have indeed, yeah. All right, this is the England side. And also, the, well, obviously there's one big number number there, number 11. And Mr Anthony Gordon has made the starting lineup. Uh, we go with the lineup of Pick, Pick, Pickford in goal, Walker the captain, Chilwell at left back, Declan Rice, John Stones, <laughs> Harry Maguire just for change, uh, Phil Foden, uh, Conor Gallagher, Oliver Watkins and Jude Bellingham joining uh, Anthony Gordon. What do you think about lineup, Sato? Um, yeah, I like it to a point. Um, I don't see the point in bringing Conser, Dunk or Branthwaite if you're all Gomez, if you're going to start Maguire in this mixture. I think it's ridiculous. I think the whole point is to test one of them. I appreciate mm -hmm. you want to make wholesale changes against a team as strong as Brazil. Uh, although they are trying that. So well, I guess when we look at the Brazil line, we'll go through that. But I'd, I'd have liked to have seen Maguire dropped for someone else. Not because Maguire is not decent for England. He tends to be a better for England. But I think one of the other centre-halves probably deserved a shout. The rest of it, yeah, obviously if there's no Kane here, then Watkins up front is a fair shout. A lot more game time this year than Tony. Uh, the rest of the team kind of picks itself to a point, doesn't it? I think maybe Madison a little bit unlucky not to get a look in, but um, probably Gordon the more fortunate. But, you know, we like that he's starting. Yeah, I think I think Gordon's more suited to the position now, out wide left, isn't he? Um, Madison is well, you need an out and out field. winger, don't you? And Foden isn't yeah. that, so you need somebody to give you that sort of width and pace. Yeah, Foden will probably go to the right, won't he? Um, with Bellingham through the middle behind Watkins, but we shall see how that works out. Um, it looks a fairly balanced side if you if ask me. I don't think it looks bad at all. It is a Brazil side. Uh, ben Toe in goal, obviously no Allison or Edison, so I imagine it's not. One of his kind of experience, he's not an experienced goalkeeper, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, Danilo, the captain, Bruno, uh, Beraldo, Wendell. This is going to be awkward. They've got a Bruno in defence. And of course, our Bruno. Uh, with there he is there, Bruno Gudemoish, uh, Joao Gomez, uh, Lucas Paqueta, Philly Jr., Rodrigo and Rafinha. It's a fair side, that one, Stato, isn't it? It is, although it's a, it's an interesting back four. Um, Wendell is a 30-year-old is a left-back who plays for Porto. Beraldo is a young one. He's a PSG centre-half, 20 years old. Uh, the other Bruno, Fabrizio Bruno, is, plays for Flamengo. He's 28, the other centre-half. And Danilo, of course, a lot of people know Danilo by, by now. He's from Juventus, by, plays for Juventus, 32 years old. So uh, a little bit of kind of mix and match age profile-wise with a 20-year-old centre-half stepping in there. Um, and the goalkeeper playing for Atletico Paranense, 24 years old. So considering they've got Alisson and Edison, they've gone with a few different choices, but then the rest of the rest of the you know the midfield and the front three, most mm. people will know. Um, obviously, Gomez plays for Wolves, and we know Bruno and Paqueta quite well. Vinicius, Rodrigo, and Rafinha are all household names and all play for either Barca or Real Madrid. Yeah, it's a fair front three that dreading it to be honest. But there you go. Uh, that's the Brazil side. Uh, we'll do a few comments before we start because uh, we're about I don't know, eight minutes from kickoff, and where we what we've got here. We've got we've got the new member there. Uh, Toon Gamer says that the Gazette are reporting that the £100 million release clause for Bruno is only for four teams, Real Madrid, Barcelona, PSG and Bayern. That's interesting, isn't it? That is an interesting development, if that is true, in fact. Um, well, if he's going to have to go, we'd prefer it was outside of England, right? Absolutely, so. absolutely. And then Luke says there's no way Bruno is going back to France to a Farmers League. Uh, and then he says Spain or nowhere. There you go. Um Chippers is in the house. Hi, Chippers. Hope you're well. He says Gordon starts. And Tom's also here. As is Jano. Uh, the Wolf 5 Benition says, uh, even all Radio 5 Live so-called pundits saying Maynou could be the player to fill a gap in midfield for Euros. Good young player. Yet Mardi stats are better. But Maynou plays for media darling teams. Manchester United, which, which is true, I guess. But it's, it's, I don't think it's fair to compare the two, is it? 
Um, well, I don't. I don't think they should be playing. I, I don't think he should be in the squad. I don't think. I don't think Maynard should should be in there. I think that's. Um, I don't. I don't think Miley should be in either. I don't think either of them have done enough. I, I think you, you've got Barkley and and um, and Ward Prowse that deserve to be in this call up, I'm and hungry. Barkley's done well in a, in a in a sort of deeper position. As as good as Maynard is technically, um, he, you know, he should be playing uh, in the setup at some point. Um, obviously, Miley already is in the in the under twenties. I think he played against Poland. Was it was it yesterday with Lewis Hall? So they both played in that match. We need to go and watch that. Uh, I, I think I think neither of them deserve to be anywhere near the senior team yet. I think there's a lot of a lot of growing needs to be done. They're, they're both only just settling into their club sides. I agree. I agree. I couldn't agree more. Um, like you say, Barkley and Ward Prowse should feel hard didn't to actually because they've had really good seasons. Um, so yeah, I think they should have been in. Uh, even to Mason. Uh, even to Carl, Carl, uh, a Gadius uh, Chippers says Brazil have Hendrick on the bench. Well, I don't think it's the same one as we've got. Uh, Magpie XR said, My missus got the hump. What's the last is now, Gordon? Not bothered about the result, just want Anthony to score. Uh, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how he gets on when that's that's how his first go at senior level. He's, he's been really good in the under 21s. Step up now for him to the seniors. Yeah, I think with Anthony Gordon, it's, it's a bit different. He's He's a little bit older now. Um, he's played a, a huge chunk of the season for us as the main guy. He's played left wing, right wing, up front. He scored goals. He's got assists. He's played in the Champions League. He's done a lot of growing up. He's added a lot to his game. Um, and I think I think the time is is right. The time the time is right. You just get him capped. Um, I appreciate it's a friendly, but get but get him capped. Get get him involved in the squad, especially with Rap Rashford having a really poor season. You need options on the left for England, or well, just just wingers in general. Because um, a lot of people that we're kind of playing out there sort of Foden isn't really a proper winger. Uh, we don't want to shoehorn anyone. And, and Anthony Gordon can be that proper traditional winger. That's why I think it's good to have Bowen, Jared Bowen um, and Anthony Gordon sort of at least in the setup because they could be very, very useful. And they've scored a lot of goals for their clubs. Uh, Commander Saviola says, how to watch the game when it's on Channel 4 if you're in the United Kingdom. Otherwise, I'm not sure. Um, but of course, usual rules apply. No spoilers in the chat. If you are slightly ahead of us, just pause it a little bit and ca- let us catch up. Uh, but don't be shouting out scores and stuff in the in the chat. Otherwise, the mods will uh, time you out and then buy you. So uh, it's not worth doing that. Um, Julie J thinks 4-2 to England. Watkins to Bellingham and Gordon, Richarlison and Paqueta. Richarlison's on the bench, I imagine. There's Bruno there. They're doing the national anthems right this minute. Um, what have we got here? The last time Bruno was in the stadium, it was the Carabao Cup final. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the old heads in that squad now, isn't he? I mean, you know, experience. That's a, it's a new manager, isn't it? Dory Val. Um, he'll be wanting to prove a point because they've lost the last three games, haven't they? Uh, Argentina and a couple of others. Well, they were tough games, but... but they yeah. were, yeah. I mean, they got kicked to crap against uh, Argentina and then the referee decided to send Joe Linton off, which was ridiculous. Um, so there you go. They're, they're doing that national anthem. I loved the Brazilian national anthem, but I can't hear it, of course. And of course, the cameramen are focusing on some Brazilian ladies in the crowd, which is a uh, commonplace when Brazil play, I guess. Uh, Kane is injured. Ben, yes, he is. Uh, public now, says, see Tony on the subs bench too, need him back. Uh, Tom's had his curry. Uh, he's here as a neutral, he says. Uh, what else we've got? Steadfast accountancy and business. How, how much is Paqueta worth? Could he be in? The summer window for us, doubtful. Man City want him and they want at least £90 million for him. So I don't think Newcastle are in for him. I think I'm about 30 seconds behind you because I've only just seen the Brazilian ladies in the crowd. Oh, yeah. Well, still singing the anthem, Stato. I just finished now. It's a very long anthem. But it's a very famous one, of course. Well, I'm going to kick him out because he keeps asking the same question. Over and over again. Uh, Gillian says, glad to see you better. God, I was poorly yesterday. Really poorly. Uh, Brazil's ship has got his Brazil top on tonight. Anyway, the British National Anthem, the English National Anthem. Well, it is the British National Anthem. I was right the first time. They're now singing that. Steve Holland, Gal Southgate and the other coach. Well, I don't know who is. Um, if, if you're in Canada, says Jam Stasha, it's on the zone. There's Gaza in the crowd. Yeah, Gaza looks very well in a in a, in a 
Spice, Spice Boys suit that Liverpool wore for the 96 Cup final. Beige, a beige affair. And as Mr Shearer with David Seaman. Uh, anthems are now completed, so it'll be a shake hands along the line and then back to um, back to the goals and all the pitch rig will be kicked off and be kicking off very soon. There's the England side again. Pickford, a back four of Walker, Stones, Maguire and Chilwell. Uh, double pivot of Gallagher and Rice. Three in front, Gordon Bellingham just behind Foden and sorry, Gordon and then Watkins on his own up front. Subs of Johnston, Ramsdale, Cons are Dunk, Branthwaite, Gomez, Tony, Bowen, Rashford, Madison and Maynou. The Brazil lineup is about to come up on the screen, I imagine. Maybe not. Couldn't pause yours for a little bit, could you? Otherwise, I'm going to be behind I could. Hang on. everything and I'm going to be useless to you. Right, let me just... Uh... So mine's just switched. Well, not yet. I'll tell you when mine could, when the Brazil squad flashes up. Well, Brazil, all right, all right. Brazil squad's just come up now, so I'll wait for you. Yeah, I'll see when. Paulo Suarez, Martins. Ah, oh, Portuguese officials is a bit dodgy. <laughs> You're mm. in far away then. And Brazil's just about to come up, I think. Uh, now, there you go. There you go, yeah, we're levelling. Yeah, Portuguese officials is a funny one because that's obviously they, there's a lot of people with relatives in Brazil and mm, mix of cultures. Unless, well, I don't really know much about that. Unless it's like English and Scottish and they hate each other. I don't, I don't know. Maybe they do hate each other. I know the Portuguese like us generally, don't they? Anyway, there's the two captains meeting. Um, Danilo and Carl Walker, both right backs, of course. Hello to Robert Summer. Uh, everyone from Malta. I'm very happy for Gordon and Bruno, but I hope they don't get any injuries. Absolutely. Uh, Claire says, amazing to see both our players tonight. Didn't think Southgate had it in him. Uh, Warren Pringle says, his hoping Gordon plays an absolute blinder. Who are we focus on in the crowd now? It's Jamie Redknapp. What the fuck is him for? No, we don't want Jamie Redknapp. Yes, yeah, Ollie Watkins, and I don't. I can't be honest. I'm not a fan of the new kit. Well, it's more of a classic kit, isn't it? Yeah. It was, it was... Mm -hmm. I was ahead of quite a few people, so I've just paused for stats out, but there's a few people behind us as well. So, we're okay. Anyway, they are doing high fives with each other. I like the numbers actually. Yeah, I, I like the kit. Obviously, there's the controversial flag that everybody's on going on about but the actual kit generally i really like it it's quite nice and classic just a bit pricey i don't think i could afford it yeah i think we're gonna have a, a minute silence for some kind of reason because of the england team are uh it might be terry venables possibly potentially yeah potentially they're on the uh center circle arranged as it would be for a minute silence or a minute's applause whatever we're gonna get Looks like it is applause because uh, it is for Terry Venables. Hmm. In nineteen forty-three, I didn't realise he was um, he was quite that old. Yeah, I can remember him playing. Christ, that's how old I am. Christ Almighty! And I need to hide that cooing comment. Um, Come on then, lads. Yeah, Brazil wearing the, the, the away kit of blue tops and white shorts. England are in the traditional white tops, navy blue shorts. Uh, and Lucas Paqueta is going to start us off for number eight for Brazil. Referee making sure everyone thinks okay to go. Five debutants for Brazil, apparently. Oh, wow. Got a ten dollar super chat from Graham Ritchie. He says, "Here's hoping Gordon plays a blinder." Thank you very much, uh, Roger, for that. Uh, Graham, sorry. Run away, we're off, and it's with Paqueta with a quick one too with Bruno. I think it was, but quickly. Uh, I think it's Gallagher who's gone steaming in. And he's, the pressure's on here, big time from Gallagher, and they've got through it though. Foden is pressurising Bruno there, but it did get back to the defender, and all the way across it will come to the other Bruno. And now to Danilo on his right-hand side with pressure coming from him from Gordon. Down the line he goes. 
for Paquette to have. Foot in there for Maguire, but Paquette gets a foot in there. It's a nice pass that. And they've spread it to the side of the pitch where the left back Wendell is coming forward. Whitey goes there to Vinny, back to Wendell, and back to Vinny again. And England yet to touch the ball, even though there's been a bit of pressure. Uh, it's with Bruno again at the back to Danilo, tackled by Anthony Gordon, throwing to Brazil. Uh, good start from England. Good press, wasn't it, Sato? Early doors. Yeah, I like the intensity. Um, it's it's interesting because obviously Conor Gallagher and Anthony Gordon ended up in the same team. You've got a lot of legs there doing some pressure from the front. Watkins getting involved. Looks good. That's why yeah. Gallagher's in this side. They're at it again there on Paqueta. Uh, Bellingham got a foot in. Paqueta holding the back of his calf there. Uh, but it's gone up for throwing just about level with the Brazil penalty area to Brazil. No clock today, of course. We are a minute and 15 in, or minute 20 in now. Uh, Mr. Southgate's focus on him at the minute. Danilo passes it back to Bruno. And then now to the other centre half, who I can't remember his name. Plays for PSG. Then Wendell. Uh, Beraldo. Beraldo. Back to the keeper. And then back to Bruno again. Forward. Chip forward for Rafinha. Oh, Picatar. Now Rafinha. A little bit of skill there. Maguire gets a foot in. Headed forward from Gordon to no one in particular. Uh, Good tackle there from, uh, well, it's Bruno and Jude Bellingham having a tussle. Bellingham comes out on top, and now it's with Gallagher. Gallagher plays it wide for Carl Walker, who's on the overlap here. Turns back and tries to give it inside for Conor Gallagher. Manages to do so, and there's a foul there on Gallagher, I think, but the ref's given it as well. And Gallagher's holding his ankle there, top of his foot. And it's a foul from Qatar. Yeah, he didn't get the ball there. He went straight in there. It's got to be a free kick. So, Thomas and Elia... Promising everything, but well, it was, I don't know who would it be Bellingham, Foden, Rice. I don't know. Foden and Rice are walking up to it. It's going to be an in swinger, looks like, from Foden. It's very put right level with the edge of the penalty area, but on the right hand side of it, about a yard away from the corner. Foden's keen up, he's got Gordon next to him, but he's keen up for an in swinger. In, in swinger with his left foot. There he goes, go for goal. Oh, Rice. Keeper missed it and it went wide. Good effort, though. Keeper doesn't look very confident, Stato. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he wasn't quite sure whether that was going out or not. He's, he's had a little dive for it no. to his right-hand side. I don't think he knew where it was, did he? I don't think he knew where his far post was there. He was covering it just in case because I don't think he was super confident yeah, where his far post was. It was miles wide, though. He was in the end. Uh, anyway, Danilo clears it for Brazil. Foot in there from the Rice, but now it's with... The Brazil number 11, Rafinha. Back he goes then to Danilo. Square to Baraldo. And then forward then to Vinny Jr. No, it's Rodrigo. It's only nice. And Vinny Jr. lets the ball run into his foot. Very clumsy there. And very, you know, not sort of thing you see from Vinny Jr. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't great. Uh, he's out for throwing, which Kyle Walker's already taken. Back to the defence. And the camera work is focused on the Brazil manager. Harry Maguire bringing it forward. To Chilwell. He's been forced all the way back to Jordan Pickford. He knocks it square then to John Stones. Stones to Walker. Back to Stones. Bit of pressure coming on Stones here. A little board in front for Rice. Square to Walker and down the line. Right to Gallagher. Not, good bit of space there for Gallagher to win into. Going against Bruno. Ah, Bruno. Within him and still can maintain his possession, Gallagher. Does well here, but he's now got Paquetta on his case and he's fouled from Paquetta again. That'll be yellow card, surely. Second one from Paquetta on the same player and in the similar area of the pitch, Sato. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a couple of seconds behind you, but that was a nasty one. That was from behind. He's going to get a warning, not a booking, but he, he deserves a booking for that, really. That was that was nasty. Second one on the same player. They must have a, must if you're going to commit to that kind of challenge from behind, you have to be confident you can get around the player and touch the ball. He did neither of those things. He deserves to be in the book for that. Ben Chilwell stepped forth for this free kick. He's a bit further out than the last one, maybe 10 yards further out. Uh, but it's in a similar area of the pitch, um, that right-hand side. Declan Rice has gone to join him. But it looks like Chilwell's going to bend one in, in swinging towards the goal. Yeah, Rice takes corners for Arsenal, I'm pretty oh, sure. There he is. Oh, and it's headed away. And there's a free kick to England, uh, to Brazil. Well, there's an offside there from the free kick. 
Not very clever that for Maguire. To get himself offside from a free kick there. Well, there you go. Oh, terrible ball from the, from the PSG centre-half. I've forgotten his name again. What's his name again, Stato? Bold. Uh, but Lucas Beraldo and Beraldo. Uh, the other one's Bruno. But they get away with it. It's a throw into Brazil, which we take by Wendell. Inside to Guedemais. Guedemais. And there he is again, Bruno. Ah, Bruno. Plays it down then to uh, Fabri Fabrizio Bruno. And then to... Well, they're playing, some, playing with five in Brazil at the back with Bruno and uh, Danilo. But they get out of it in the end, do they? Well, Gallagher nearly stole it. And I think England will get a throw in here. They do. So the press work for England. Good intense intense press at the minute, Stato. Yeah, it's working really well. I mean, it's a decent decent selection for it. That's what you get when you drop some of your favourites. We've got, you know, Watkins, Gallagher. You've got Anthony Gordon in the side. You've got some good workhorses. You play, play in systems. They're not just there because of their names. The aforementioned Watkins fouled uh, Bruno. Ah, uh, Bruno then. And there's a lovely free kick, which is played too. Uh, Fabrizio Bruno back to Danilo and back to the keeper. He plays it wide then for Beraldo. Keep ball at the back at the minute for Brazil. Centre halves and keeper both in the penalty area playing it amongst each other. And no real press from the England for English set centre forward there. Watkins lets it go again. It's a square ball across the penalty area. Now it's to Danilo. Now he goes down the line. And Gordon does well to get a, a block on that. It's going to be a throw in for Brazil. Different pressing structure compared. Well, yes, it's kind of similar. We were lining up in a four then, as the goalkeeper had got the ball, and then Rice was kind of the fifth. It's it's vaguely similar to what we were doing um, back when we had Joe Linton available, though. Seven and a half minutes on the clock. Uh, still nil nil. England nil. Brazil nil. I should make a banner really, shouldn't I? On the cabana. Throw into Brazil, which will be taken by Danilo. Conor Gallagher steps in. Uh, Bellingham loses out. And Brazil do get the ball. They're not on the attack now with uh, Paqueta on this left-hand side. Gordon squares him up and makes him go backwards. And again, Rafinha goes back then to Danilo. And Brazil just content in keeping possession. No real forward attacking kind of threat yet from Brazil. But they are being pressurised from England. That was a lucky ball there that got through. A little one-two then with Vinny and uh, Paqueta. This time, Brazil do play some nice football. Wider comes in for Rafinha, going up against Chilwell. Cuts inside, plays it back to Danilo. Little forward ball then, back again it goes to him. And now it's for Bruno, our Bruno. Give and go then, and gives it back. Nice little play from this from Brazil. Oh, good play that is. I think it's Vinicius Jr. Now they dig from distance and good save from Pickford. At uh, first, that's Rodrigo. First real attacking the tent there from Brazil, Sato. Yeah, Gallagher got completely sold there. He, he just did a quick drop of the shoulder and a shimmy, and Gallagher was, was rooted. And Rodrigo just drove and drove and drove and got a shot off. Nobody really stepped up. He would have had to have hit something spectacular to beat Pickford from there, though. He would have. It was a good effort, though. First real attacking intent, no, from Brazil. And we get the banner up. Ball is in the, in the penalty area. Danilo was waiting for the keeper to come out. It took him an age to do so, and in the end he did. But he looks very nervous, this keeper, I have to say. England needs to get some shots in on him, so I don't think he's the most confident of goalkeepers at the moment. Anyway, it's with Paqueta. And now Rodrigo back to the number seven. I can't remember who he is. He has it again now. And back he goes then to Qatar. Uh, seven's Vinicius, isn't it? Vinicius, yeah. Bruno with a lovely little bit of play there. Back to the centre half and picks it up again. He's playing in the sixth role for Brazil. I don't know how confident he is doing this role, but he looks good at it. He's very, very kind of disciplined at the minute. Just playing amongst uh, the defenders and just starting the first attack. Here he is again. Floats one wide here. It's a beautiful pass for Rafinha, who doesn't control it properly, and Chilwell gets a foot in. But Bruno's starting to control a play, uh, Stato. Yeah, he's just kind of dropping into that anchor role in between the centre-halves, trying to receive the ball if they can't break through. And then he, he's done a, quite a similar switch to what we see 
with him in a black and white shirt. Mm. Very much a quarterback role for him, isn't he, at the minute? It's like a much more mobile version of what John Drew Shelby was. Yeah. Long clearance for, from Pickford. It's a good one to Anthony Gordon. Inside he goes to Bellingham. And now Chilwell back to Bellingham again. I bet Gordon's not used to receiving a, a quick ball off a goalkeeper like that on no, target. Pass, wasn't it? That was with Stones on the far side of the pitch. England trying to get a bit of possession here uh, because the last five minutes or so, because it'll start to come into it more. Pickford receives it 10 yards outside his box and plays it to Maguire. He's got Chilwell to his left. He wants to come there. He's coming forward, Maguire. And shunned in forward. Goes for Chilwell. Good pass. Chilwell has to turn back, though. And he goes back to Maguire. 11 minutes on the clock. 11 minutes and 12 seconds, in fact. Maguire inside then for Rice. Little flick for Bellingham. That's a great bit of skill from Bellingham to get away from his mark there. Now Chilwell approaching the penalty area. Crosses in, headed away. And the Brazil, oh, that's a lovely little touch that is. really is uh, from Piquet. What a ball that is as well through here. Well, I think it's uh, Vinicius Junior, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Vinicius Junior squeezes it past, but it's going to be clear off the line. Uh, well played from Walker to anticipate that. And England got away with one there, Sato. Yeah, we just got caught there. We, again, it was it was a pretty lazy cross from um, from Ben Chilwell there. Just straight, yeah. didn't even clear the first centre half. Headed out, and obviously we've we've committed a lot of players left and central, and they just break. Vinicius Junior is rapid, and Carl Walker has to try and clean up. E too easy, too easy. When we're playing teams like France and stuff in major tournaments, oh. we can't do that. It's a great ball from uh, Bellingham there, but. Chilwell didn't get there and Danilo did well to win the ball. Uh, give a free kick there from a foul on, from Bellingham. Gets a yellow card. That's a bit strange. I mean, this Portuguese thing, it's on our Bruno. Yeah, but that other tackle that just came in, I thought was a foul as well. Yeah. But he's booked Bellingham for his first foul of the game. He's let the ticket off for two. So, I mean, let's have a look at this. Mm. He's quite late on Bruno, to be fair. Oh, he has took him. Bruno's all right, and uh, him and... Him Although, can, and he, can he stop doing that to our Bruno, please? Nobody tackle Bruno or... Carl um, Walker's down, actually, on the floor Vinci. injured as well. Um, whether he's pulled something, running back to try and catch Vinny Jr., but, it, I mean, it was that high line that, had caught, that got caught out, wasn't it? You know, for that chance here, they actually can show it again now. Just high line, ball over the top. It's, it's, it's really basic stuff, isn't it? Walker's brilliant to get back. He then, was massively outpaced. I mean, Walker started running. He knew it, he knew what was coming. He can catch him. Walker's then blasted into the back of Maguire's head, and it, luckily it's just chipped over to to the left hand side of the area where no goal from the it back just? of the slabhead's back slab. I think Walker's could be done here, mate. I really do. Who we got on the bench, fullbacks wise, guys? Um, let's have a look. We have got. We don't really have fullbacks. We've got Gomez, who's a makeshift. So we've gone from having three right backs in yeah. Trippier, Trent, and Carl Walker to having to bring Joe Gomez on. And Reese James, of course, as well. And Ben White would have been in if he hadn't stropped on or whatever went on, whether it was Southgate yeah. or him, we don't know. He's up on his feet, Walker, but I don't know if he's going to continue or not. He's walking okay. He's not taking the armband off, so I think he's gonna he's gonna stay on. Very strange. 14 and minutes and 20 on the clock at the moment. Yeah, I think Walker's gonna come back on, but like you say, there's I mean Joe Gamers has, has, has performed there for Liverpool very admirably this season. Uh and Walker's trying to get some movement into him. He's jogging it's down the line. Any option. The only other defenders we've got, we've got Conser. Branthwaite, Dunk. No, nobody else is really going to slot in at right back. It's it's going to have to be Gomez if Walker um, struggles. Anyhow, Brazil, I've got the ball. Game has resumed. Lewis, Lewis York, uh, Newcastle member for one month. Jude Bellingham, dirty player. Thank God Bruno is okay. I don't think it's fair to have a Portuguese referee. You can help the Brazil speak. Uh, well, yeah. Anyway, Brazil on the attack with uh, Joao Gomez, the Wolves player. Bruno now in the, in the quarterback role again. Just in front of the back four. Squares it for Danilo. Walker's back on the pitch. 
Danilo. To Rafinha. That's a great ball there. Oh, what a touch that is. And Vinicius Jr.'s in again here. Up against Walker. Goes past Walker. That's a penalty kick. We have to give it. We have to buy it. I think he should have done. <laughs> Uh, it's no, be a that's not a penalty. That would be very soft. Well, I don't know. I think he's made contact. Mm. Oh, I think we'll that, see, I think we'll that's just see it. We'll just see it. I think he's thrown himself to the floor there oh, as soon as it was right. a 50-50. Maybe you're right. Yeah, he's, he's, he's just outstrengthened him, hasn't he, really? No, he's he's just kind of put his arm across. They're 50-50. They're both running towards the ball. Yeah. You can't be giving them as pens. Very soft it had been. But yeah, he was, he was, he, oh, that's a foul, surely. And ref played on. That's a ridiculous bit of play. And now Vinny's in again here. And puts it wide. It's not Vinny. That's not a foul. It's Rodrigo this time. Brazil's starting to get on top now. Yeah, this this ref is um, causing some issues, guys. That was a definite foul, wasn't it? On, uh, mm, it was. On Snowden. They didn't deserve that attack purely because that was an enormous... He's just pushed him over in the back. No, not even close to being a standard yeah, it's, tackle. It's, it's, it's a definite blatant foul. It's, it's, it would have been Paquetta's third one, wouldn't it? Anyway, yeah. he... Foden got it. Foden got his body in front of him nicely. With and a foul it, there. A foul. This time a foul from Rafinha and ref gives this one. I mean, that wasn't a foul on Chilwell and he's given it. Chil <laughs> Chilwell's fallen over the the ball. This referee needs to, needs to quickly get a bit better than that because... Mm. 17 on the clock. It's with uh, John Stone's little chip over the top for Bellingham. Bellingham chests it back for Declan Rice. And Declan Rice is studying what he can do with it. He's got Chilwell to the left of him. And that's where he goes. So we've not really seen much of Anthony Gordon yet. Well, in fact, he's just taken his space from Bellingham there. Bellingham has it. We'll go back to Chilwell. Oh, great bit of skill from Bellingham. Gets away from two. Gets away from Danilo. Got Gordon there. Still didn't give him the ball. And then close to the end of the area where Gallagher is. He's little chip over the top for Watkins. Watkins in here. Oh, he's busted over the top. Terrible miss. Got to score there. Terrible miss Have that. To score from Watkins. Brilliant play from, from Jude Beddingham. Uh, back he went to Gallagher. Little chip over the top. He's in one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and he's just blasted over the bar. He's about eight yards out. Absolute donkey. I'm not quite sure. What what did Gallagher do? Did Gallagher chest that into Ollie Watkins? I think he just got a foot on it. I don't know. I don't think he was actually aiming it there. And there's pressure from the England centre forward there, but Brazil do get away with it. Uh, Gallagher gets a foot in. Finishes Junior has it. Back he goes then to uh, Baraldo and then Fabrizio Bruno. Square then to Danilo. And a long ball looking for Rafinha, but Chilwell's watching it. Maguire with a nice bit of play, but a terrible pass. Gives it away to Bruno Gramaric. Now Chilwell and now Rice. And Rice goes back to Stones. Not a bad game though, is it, Stato, to be fair? It's a friendly, but it ain't a bad game. Yeah, it's um, there's a bit of pace about it. There's a bit of ump. It's it's not being played as a friendly. I don't know what Pickford's doing there. I think it's somebody injured. Because Pickford just whacked it out into touch. And it's Walker's coming off. So Carl Walker's race is run and it's Esri Conza coming on at right back. Oh, okay. Well, one thing that I'm not particularly enjoying at the moment is um, Chilwell. I don't know about you, but I'm not enjoying Chilwell's performance so far. No, he, he's he's gone forwards once and tripped himself up. Yeah, I didn't like I didn't like the cross. He keeps going backwards. Mm. It's very early doors, but I'm 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 so far. I'm, I don't. We've not. We we typically watch down burn week in week out. But... <laughs> Even so. Anyway, Walker's off. Every con to Aston Villa's on. He has played right back for Aston Villa on occasions. Um, but Walker, yeah, he's got off the pitch. So it's a strange It's going to be a re the reverse version of what we play. It's going to be three centre halves on the right hand side. Um, I, I can't imagine he's going to be providing too much width. I don't fancy chances against Vinnie Jr., though, Stutter. Hmm. I mean, he's not slow, but he's not that quick. Anyway, England have the ball with John Stones. Back to Pickford it goes. Brazil did throw the ball back to us, sportingly. Uh, ball from Pickford's a nice one to Gallagher. Gallagher's pressured from Bruno, our Bruno. Bruno's got a little bit more forward now, and someone else has stepped into the, the number six role. Because he's now pressurising Declan Rice. Now he's having a press, and he's been played around there from Rice and Konza. And now it's with 
Watkins. Gallagher plays it square for uh, Chilwell. Down the line for Gordon. Gordon comes backwards. He has to because it was a poor pass to him. But he, he gets himself a bit of space and plays it square. Conor Gallagher gives it him back. Then Gordon goes inside for Rice. First real touch of the ball Gordon's had so far. Rice has it now. Gordon's he's ready for the ball now down the line. There he is. It's Gordon. He's, he's level with the penalty area. Up against uh, number 15. It's uh, Beraldo, I think. Square across he comes to Gallagher. Terrible pass from him. And Brazil can come away with it. Foden pressurises Vinny Jr. wins it back. And uh, foul there from Vinny Jr. on Conor Gallagher, according to the linesman. And it will be a free kick to England. Again, in that same area as we've had two before. We need the linesman to be the ref because he's making the right calls. <laughs> can, can you hear that noise, by the way? I can hear... I think it sounds like Scousers continuously moaning that Joe Gomez isn't playing. <laughs> Anyway, it's a free kick. It's another promising free kick. Foden floats it in. It's over hit. Oh, it's far post. Royce chest it down. Has a go for goal. Blocked away from, uh, I think it was R. Bruno, actually. Now it's with Gordon. Square to go. He's then for Bellingham. Back into Gordon. Good pass. Uh, he's robbed there from the 15. Who then, well, England get it back. But Watkins. Good ball. Gordon. Couldn't get it into control. Foul there. Free kick to England. Edge the area. Foul from Paqueta. That's his third. Oh, yeah. He needs to get booked for that. He needs to get booked. This referee needs to sort himself out. He's booked Bellingham for a strong challenge, yet Paqueta's oh. gone away with three. This is where we need some of the England players to be asking for cards and for, for saying threes, twos, fours. You know, you need to get in the ref's face about this. Every <laughs> other country does it. We need to be strong with this. It's a very promising area for free kick here. It's, it's on the left hand side. Royce Chilwell should be Chilwell because he's he's left footed. So unless he's going to cross it in, it's not quite the angle to shoot for me, is it, Stato? Not with these three. Uh, Chilwell's not got a bad hit on him, but I'm not sure this is the right. I don't want a left foot Wrong angle, isn't it? Really? Yeah, you want you want a right one, right footed, don't you? To bend it. I'm not really sure what Royce's free kick skills are like with direct free kicks. I've seen him take decent corners. Hmm. Well, we need to come up with solutions in tournaments, so see what Rice can do. Well, it's a credit from just fixing from Chilwell. It weren't a bad cross, and Maguire got his head to it, headed it off the Brazil defender. I think it might be a corner. Maguire's got the captain's armband, by the way. Is it a corner? I'm not sure. Yeah, it is a corner. Phil Foden will take on the far side and in swinger. Not seen much of the two wingers at all, really, have we, Stato? That's the one puzzling thing about it so far, the disappointing thing about it. But both Foden and Gordon have hardly been in the game. Well, it's been the story of well, the last couple of years is trying to get the danger men on the ball is difficult. We need oh, to get Bellingham more well on the ball. Oh, chill well. Chilwell's just leveled I mean, it into Rose Z at Wembley from the edge of the area. He's not I did put a sticky match. note on this five minutes ago, didn't I, that I wasn't enjoying Chilwell's performance, and that's no. put another sticky note on the door. It's a good play from Royce to actually pull off and, and get a shot in. The keeper, well, he got bailed out from his defender. Anyway, England do have the ball back, and McGuire let it go out, or Royce let it go out, and it's a Brazil throw. Mad. 24 and a half minutes on the clock. Still no goals. Uh, and a bad game. It's uh, quite intense for friendly. There are tackles going in. And some knowledge football also. So it's not, it's not your usual friendly fare. Anyway, Brazil have a throw in with Danilo. Chipped over the top there. A little bit of skill there from Paquette. It was lovely. But Royce took it off him. And Royce squares it then. Foden finally has the ball. Referee plays advantage. Gives it to... Uh, Bellingham. Bellingham's got Gordon to his left. Cuts inside. Goes the other way. I think it was an easy pass, but he went to Gallagher instead. Gallagher looking for a ball, a ball out wide. There was nobody there for him. Now Rice. And now Chilwell. Should come to Gordon this time. It does. Will, will Gordon have a go at him? Up against him. Where he comes to Chilwell. He said on the outside. Good cross from Chilwell. Good header away. Foden nods it back to uh, Declan Rock. Well, Stones and then Declan Rice. And now Gordon again. Gordon's starting to see a bit more of the ball now. He comes back inside. Gives it to Declan Rice. 
So there'll be no width from the fullback here. It's Conza now. He's come a little bit forward, but he's obviously not going to get too far forward. Little board inside, little one two he plays, not bad. Uh, back again then to uh, Stones. Stones floats it over here, I think. No. Bellingham's everywhere at the minute. One sort of the picture against his club teammate, uh, Vinny Jr. Had a bit of a laugh at him there, actually. You could see him talking to him as he was toying with him. Stones again, back outside then to uh, Bellingham. A little ball inside for Foden. Will he get there first? He does. Head there with Bruno. Now Bellingham again. Now Rice. Down for Foden. Good move this from England. Now Bellingham. Oh, a little flick there. Uh, Foden went down one in a penalty. Didn't get one. The referee didn't win by it. And Brazil keeper clears it. Uh, and Foden's down injured. And uh, Vinny Jr. has you know. robbed Conza there. And they're on the attack in Brazil. Little square ball inside for Paqueta. Paqueta goes wide then for Rafinha. Rafinha up against Chilwell. Goes past him. And then a little foot in there from Gordon. Wins the ball back. Brilliant play from Anthony Gordon. And Rafinha's on the deck. And, and Chilwell hits a long ball. It's not a bad one either. It's Watkins. Can Watkins hold it up? Uh, Gordon should have run inside him. Then he'd give an option. Anyway, just get the ball now. Gordon going towards the edge of the penalty area. Gordon squares it back for Bellingham. Back to Gordon again. Gordon could go for a shot here with a curler. He does go for a curler. Deflected wide for the order. Gordon starting to get into the game, Stato. Yeah, decent little shot there. Uh, end to end. Um, it is worth noting as well, we, we're still counting them. In, in the build-up about three minutes ago, uh, referee played advantage on a Paqueta foul. So that's four. Needs to go in the book. It's getting ridiculous now. Um yeah, good, good play there. Gordon, in two minds whether to sort of run past Watkins, didn't, sat deep, got a nice curling shot off and we get the corner for it. So, yeah. it's okay. We just need to be careful on the counter. Yeah, and he won the ball back deep as well, did not he, against Rafinha? Anyway, here comes the corner. Looking for an England head. Gets one. Edge of the box. Oh, dear me. Chill well again. Christ, God, Martin. Is he wearing Doc Martens? No, get him off. Get him off my pitch now. Off. <laughs> off, off, off. I'm done. I'm done with Chilwell. I mentioned it 15 minutes ago. There's too many. It's too many mistakes. Not even half an hour on the clock. I've seen four or five bad things. It's it's just too much. I'm just done with him. I mean, we're used to bad things at left back, but cross the mighty, this is touching the biscuit. <laughs> Shaw and Chilwell are so lucky that there's no other decent left backs that have come through in the last sort of three years because they've just had a free hit at the England side. You know, the right back position is stacked. Left yep. back. It's just outrageous. It's just not, it's not even close to being good enough that. Not at international level. Oh, dear me. That can't be Paquetta again, surely. It's a foul on Stones. This time it's the 15. It's Baraldo, isn't it? Or is it? No, it's Joao Gomez, isn't it? Yeah, foul from Joao Gomez this time. Brazil is spreading the fouls out a bit, but Paquetta's by far and away the, the most kind of dirty player they've had so far with four fouls. Not a word from the referees yet, but Jude Bellingham was booked for his first one. Anyway, England have the ball with John Stones. Bit of pressure coming now, but he plays it wide for Chilwell. Chilwell's got Gordon ahead of him. It's the easy pass, he plays it. Gordon, little play. Did well to get away there. Gordon did really well there to get away from Paqueta. Plays it back to, to Rice, and Rice goes to Bellingham. Bellingham's clearly the, the, the player we want to get the ball to most. Foden as well there. Comes inside one, gives it to Bellingham. That's a foul there. And ref gives it. And it's Joao Gomez with his second in two minutes. And Bellingham's asking the referee, why, why do I get put for mine? And yet... I mean, look at that. Mm. That's pathetic. Yeah, there's a lot of fouls from the midfielders in, in, in the Brazil side at the moment. And Bellingham has got every right to question this because Bellingham was punished... For one, fair, fair enough, it was a bad foul, but you, people are getting away with murder now. It's four from Paqueta, that's a couple from Gomez. It's just, it's adding up. The ref needs to protect the players. Couldn't agree more. Nearly half an hour on the clock, 29 and 41. Another free kick to England. This one's about, I'm going to say 30 yards out, maybe 35. Rice and Foden are over it. That'd be more 40, actually. Rice floats in, looking for Maguire. It's headed away from Brazil. Headed from, uh, well, it was chill while it was a poor one. Uh, and did well Gordon to get back and win the ball back. Conza has it. Conza goes all the way back to Pickford. And Pickford picks it up. Ten yards, he's going for a long here. Looking for a long pass. Looking over the top. It's piss poor from Pickford. And all the way back to the Brazilian goalkeeper it goes. Worth noting that that came from a, a missed uh, Chilwell header as well. It did indeed. 
He's been dog shit, hasn't he, so far? I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to <laughs> highlight one player that's irritating me, but he, he's making it really difficult to work to, you know. And despite that, I mean, Anthony Ward's had quite a good start, Stato. I mean, he, he took mm. him a while to get into the game, but despite having absolute rubbish behind him, I think well, Chilwell's was going backwards or sideways a lot of the time, so. Gordon did brilliant there to win the ball then. I'll give it, give it him. And I'll go and go to the left hand side. Going up against uh plays inside for Watkins. Watkins across the goal. Oof, nearly. Could Gordon win it back in the air? That's a great tackle. Uh ref gets a free kick. Foul on Piquetta from Gordon. Uh, but well played for Gordon there to win the ball back. Yeah, yeah, really, really good setup. Um releasing Watkins. Dragged across goal. It was. It's good. This is what Southgate's want to see. Uh, what going to want to see whether whether Anthony Gordon can contribute down the wing with standard wing play and whether he can link up with players. And this is what we're going to need because it's it's almost certain going to be Kane up front with possibly not Gordon as the starting left winger come the start of the tournament. But if if you can create chances against a team like Brazil, it's not bad. Yeah, he's he's he's, he's, he's doing himself proud so far. Uh, anyway, Brazil on the attack with Vinny Junior got. F- uh, Gallagher just went past Gallagher with ease there. Going to Conza now. Conza's backing off, backing off. Conza did well, actually, Conza there. Did really well. And it'll be a goal kick. Did well there, Conza, Stato. Yeah, very, very well. Not to commit too early. Keep pace with him. I think Gallagher possibly, but somebody should have put in earlier cha- an earlier challenge there. Um, it was quite far away from the goal. It was just past the halfway line. You can't let Vinicius Junior stretch his legs, especially against the makeshift right back. Maguire to Chilwell, goes back to Pickford. Two men approaching him. Pickford comes away with the, the actual penalty, having cleared it down the pitch. Header from Bellingham's not the greatest in the world. And back it goes to Rafinha. Little ball end for, uh, from uh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo going up against two players and gives it back to Paquetta. Little chip over the top. Yeah. Beautiful. Might have been offside, but it was Paquetta. Uh, Paquetta, lovely little ball to Rodrigo. Couldn't control it. And out of play, went for a free uh, goal kick. It was at least two offsides in that build-up there, guys. Come on, linesmen. Have you left your flanks at home? It was definitely one there. And is this one as well? Oh, yeah, it's Moles off, isn't it? Is it? Oh, uh, sure no, it not, is. The, not the second one. The first one was... Uh... A beautiful little pass, but Rodrigo made a right pig's ear with the control. And Oh, no, it was... Um, Konza keeps him on side. He's not in line. Konza well, on line there. Yeah, it's got to be half a cons. I bet he's not trained as a right back in this uh, England training camp. Uh, but I guess it's scoreboard error, really. Anyway, Stones is marching forward, gets past two and gets fouled. Is that Paquetta again? I think it is. And this time he gets booked. That's five. About time. Ironic cheer from the crowd because it is absolutely bang on what was needed. Terrible from the referee. It's taken five tackles, a couple of which were quite serious, to get a booking. Gordon receives it, cuts inside. Challenge came in from a feed, but he did well to get away from it. Now Benningham, a uh, great little ball to Chilwell, who shits out the tackle there. And uh, Danilo took it away from him. Now Paqueta. Little ball inside. Oh, that's brilliant play from Bruno Guarales there. Now Paqueta plays it forward for Vinny. Vinny with a fantastic ball down this right hand side. It's with a, uh, it's with uh, Rafinha inside for Vinny. A good tackle though come in, but it's going to fall. Oh dear me! The number eight f- fell to the front on the far post. Uh, Brazil to have a great chance. Pegueta hits the post and wide and still in play. Close to mighty. Now it's with Rafinha. Wide this uh, this flank here on this right flank goes all the way back to Danilo, and he goes all the way back to uh, Fabrizio Bruno. Inside then far, Bruno. In fact, it's Joel Gomez who's come deep. He's now sitting in the six for a minute. Now it's Danilo. Back to Joel Gomez. Forward then to Paqueta. Okay, he goes wide to Rafinha. England looking to get away with that one there, really. Guess who lost the ball up top to start that? Chill one, any chance? Well, he pulled out of a challenge, didn't oh, he? He did, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Paquette should have scored, though. We are 35 He's the chink in. in the armour at the moment. We're getting countered because Chilwell's getting caught up the pitch and then we don't have a left-back. Yeah, it's with Bruno Gabardes now. Plays it wide for Danilo. Down the line then for Rafinha, who goes past Chilwell, but this time Maguire covers him and receives the ball. Gives it to Chilwell himself. Now Gordon. Gordon's got a bit of space to run into. Oh, Chilwell. Oh, and my Gordon days. knocks it into the feet of Danilo and out for throwing. 
I, I, I can't. I, I don't think I've ever seen as many. Guys, come on. I've never seen Dan Byrne make that many mistakes in half an hour. Chilwa was made about 12. <laughs> he, he can't pass. He can't challenge. He's losing the ball. He's passing sideways and backwards. His cross was awful. Like This is absolutely diabolical from Chilwell. It's not even close to being international standard. It's awful. Royce Maguire interchange passes. Maguire comes forward over the halfway line, stops it short of it, and then looks for a pass and gives it to Royce. Royce wide then for Chilwell. Chilwell has it now. He goes in for Bellingham. That's well, Watkins, in fact. Now it's Gordon who's come inside. Square he goes to Gallagher. Foden's on the far side. Here's Foden up against uh, Wendell. Cross comes in from Foden. It's a nice little flick. Might fall. Gordon! Oh, it's blocked. Oh, dear me. That was his chance for glory there. Great block from De Danilo. And that'd be a corner kick to England. But Gordon's getting himself into the game. Yeah, good block. Good block. He was in a good area. He he's was, learning. Yeah. He's playing a lot of minutes across the, all three positions in the front line. And he's, he's taking it good... good um, Good positions in the box. Only short, chill well. Good technique. Little passing from Foden, who data cuts it into the, the chest of uh, the keeper. And this time he saves it quite easily. But different routine from England. And Ben Chilwell managed to get a pass on target there, which was a. It was. It was, it was a decent pass in build up to give uh, Foden a shot. That would have counted as an assist as well if he'd have scored that. He would have indeed. It's Brazil's side playing very much like an Italian side. It's got a very yeah, Italian flavour to it. Bruno van der Ball out of play there. Thirty-seven and twenty on the clock. Still no goals, but it's been a good game. Very enjoyable fair at Wembley. And England have the ball deep inside the Brazil half. It will be thrown to. Uh, England, very, very close to the corner flag on the right-hand side, which Ezri Konza has marched forward to take. Bellingham's gone short of him. Not much movement for him. Watkins should really be making a move for him. Instead, he goes back to Gallagher. Gallagher's going to lose that and does indeed lose that. And in, in the end, as a Brazil throw, Israel Gomez did really well there. And Wendell will take the throw in. Back he goes. Boaldo. Not the greatest clearance in the world. And Gallagher. Well, this will be a goal kick, I think, if it goes out at all. They give it to England. It's an England throw. Very deep in the Brazil half. There's Harry Kane. Looks like he's not going to, going to miss the second game as well against Brazil, so uh, against Belgium. So, is he actually injured or is he just not it, in injured, the squad? Yeah. Injured. Chilwell, wide for Gordon. Start anyway, back to Chilwell, and then back to Declan Rice. Declan Rice has seen a long ball over the far side to Foden, but Wendell gets sent to it. Foden gets to be bound though, and he's fouled from Wendell. Referee doesn't give it, or does he? Free kick's taken quickly. Bellingham, now Rice. Maguire, Stones. Stones trying to get some forward movement. Maguire's in trouble here. And, well, back all the way to Pickford it goes. Now Stones. Stones with a nice pass over the far side to Conzo, who takes it down nicely. Forward inside for Bellingham. Bellingham's got some space to run into, and he's fouled. Uh, is that Paquetta again? It is indeed. It's Paquetta again. It is Paquetta again. And Bellingham saying it's two now. Troy six. That's his sixth one. Although, even though he probably, Paquetta should probably have seen red by this point. However, it is a friendly and we could do with practicing against 11 men. So, indeed. Yeah, that would be a yellow if it were probably the first breakaway. He hadn't already been booked. Yeah, you can definitely see Paquetta going off at half-time or he is going to walk. There's no way he plays the rest of this game without getting another a tackle in. Anyhow, John Stone takes a free kick short to Declan Rice. Declan Rice wide down here for Anthony Gordon. He's got one-on-one -on -one here with Danilo. 
cuts inside. It's in fact it's Rafinho. It tries to curve one. Great save from the keeper. Good effort from Anthony Gordon again. Having the confidence to go from distance. And it was a good save from the keeper. A bit of skill there from Vinny Jr. And Conza takes him out. <laughs> it's a free kick to Brazil. And Conza is trying to protest his innocence. But <laughs> he got sold all ends up there. He had nowhere to go, I guess. And Brazil take the free kick quickly. 41 almost on the clock. Danilo plays it wide for Rafinha. And now Danilo again inside then for Bruno Guimaraes. Square he goes to Beraldo. And back inside for ah, Bruno again. Bruno's going long here. Floated over the top of Chilwell looking for Rafinha. Rafinha wins the ball in the air against Chilwell. And now Maguire's fucked up. And oh, Rafinha's put it a yard wide. Really poor defending from Harry Maguire there and, and Chilwell as well. The Calamity Brothers on this left-hand side, them two start out. I mean, Maguire, mate, you've taken... It, it, seem, it seems like whenever he gets the armband for any club, he just does that. Just take the armband off him. And England are in the attack now with Conor Gallagher. Uh, and he's robbed. Back to the keeper. Who picks it up? Yeah, the Chuckle Brothers down here. Chilwell and Maguire. Between yeah, our left side's not very strong. I mean, all the more reason to start Dunk. I don't know why Dunk's not getting a game. He's, he's Brighton's captain. He's experienced. He's playing European football. He's part of a, you know, a high technical ability Brighton side with lots of passes. He's physical. Dunk all day long for me. All day. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Stones to Bellingham, who's fouled again. <laughs> it can't be Paquette again. No, it's our Bruno this time. Uh, and that's a bad one. That was quite a bad one from um, Bruno, but it's a free kick. This is more central, so it could be more of a, a shooting opportunity here. Yeah? Bruno flew in on Jude Day. He went in and pass there. <laughs> and uh, definite free kick. Forty-two and forty-two on the clock. Still no goals. This one's about well, I'm gonna say it's thirty-five yards. Maybe a bit too far off his shot. Foden's over it. So's Declan Rice. Very central, though. Maybe just right of centre. Rice floats it. Looking for a head on the far post and the Brazil foot gets to it. It's going to be a corner ball. Good defending from Rafinha. Corner ball on this left-hand side, which Phil Foden has marched over to take. Well, it, could be, it might even be Ben Chilwell. No, it's Foden. It's going to be an in-swinger. Anthony Gordon's in the box, as is Maguire, Bellingham. Stones is there. Is it not Rice? Yeah, it's Rice taking it, yeah. Rice takes them from this side for Arsenal. So, Declan Rice curves it in in-swinger, looking for an England head. Oof! Nearly fell to Foden on the far post. It's going to be a corner on the far side. Chance there for England. Uh, good defender from our Bruno there to get out for corner. Or war Bruno, I should say, of course. Bruno's speaking a bit of English there. <laughs> Can't help himself. Foden with a with corner. It's going to be another in swinger. If it comes in again, it's not a bad one. And the keeper comes out and punches well. Gets it away. Anthony Gordon. Well, that's probably the worst touch he's played all half. But it has to be Conor Gallagher, so... It wasn't Anthony Gordon at all. More like Conor Gallagher than Anthony Gordon, that. <laughs> yeah, that was very poor. We could have kept kept the pressure on until half time if we could have retained the ball there. And it's Vinny Jr. Good tackle there from well, let's give a free kick, I think. I think no, he hasn't. England on the attack. Good tackle came in from Conza. It's with uh, Royce. Now uh, Bellingham. Good ball for Royce. Might have been lucky. A good tackle. For from, oh dear me, England nearly got broke through there. Uh, but now it's that's a terrible head of Chilwell yet again. And now Brazil on the attack on its right hand side. And Danilo just holds the venture forward. Inside he goes to Vinny Jr. Back to Danilo. Back he goes then to Bruno Guimaraes. Inside, well, a little tap ball with Paqueta and Bruno. Now Bruno's got the ball again about 20 yards out. Little chip board inside then. And Gordon did well to get back and Pickford come out and took the ball. Uh, but 
Yeah, good play from Bruno, from Gordon. Good play from Bruno also. Bellingham goes past one. Does really well there. Chill well. Galloping down his left flank. Causes that absolute dog shit cross. Get that twat off now. Good Lord. <laughs> oh, I've just seen it. Do you see what I mean? Are you, are you on team team me now? Forget chill well off, yeah? Fuck oh, yeah. <laughs> you could smell it in the first 20 minutes that he was not up for this game. And he's done nothing but that. All half. Come off his left hoof. You, you could that. just sense it. You could you could just sense it. I will never ever. I will never crack inside Dan Burn again. If Dan Burn had done that, we'd have gone mental. We would. We would have done. Yeah, we would have gone absolutely nuts. Yeah. Who have we got on the bench? Who's left footed? Is Brown to wait right foot? Brown to wait right. He's left footed. We can't play a twenty-one-year-old centre half at left back. That's a bit <laughs> against Brazil. Bit of a baptism of fire, isn't it? Anthony Gordon has the ball, uh, going towards his own goal and plays it all the way back to Pickford. Very safe and calm play from Anthony Gordon. We're nearly at the end of the first half. We're just over a minute of two minutes of injury time. Bellingham has it now and he's marching towards the, the Brazil area. I've got Gordon left. He is Gordon now. Gordon goes back to Bellingham. Bellingham inside then to Rice. Little one-two. Little dummy there. Great play from Bellingham. Gordon goes to the far post. He's, he's got a deflection and Brazil get it away. But it's nice to see Anthony Gordon getting involved as a flag for offside anyway. So it will be... Yeah, Joe Gomez can come on left back. He's played there for Liverpool, hasn't he? Well, well, I mean, he's not left-footed and he's not... He's more of a right-sided centre-half who's a bit small. But I don't know. Chill, chill. It's his awareness that's the problem. If, if your crosses aren't, aren't working, fine, we can deal with that. But it's, it's the clueless headers. He's not looking at where he's where he's heading the ball, and we're getting countered because he's just heading to a blue shirt every single time. As the halftime whistle, anyway, uh, nil nil. But it's been a good first half, so I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, I think we've definitely been the better of the two sides, but, but well, it's, it's not even close. I think we've been significantly the better side. It's, it's just been Chilwell and a mistake from Maguire that have they've given them their chances. Um, ball over the top for, for Vinicius Junior in the first sort of early early doors was a bit scary. Um, the penalty shout was was nothing. Most of it's been us. Some nice, mostly Anthony Gordon's done all the done all the dangerous work for us with Bellingham. They're just bringing them down. They are terrified of Jude Bellingham. Yeah, he's, he's the best player in the park, isn't he? And Vinny Jr. of course also has a a bit of a hint of pace about him that got him in. Uh, but we had the best chance, didn't they? Paquetta should have scored really at the post. But apart from that, like like you've said. A uh, fantastic game of football. It really is. Really enjoyable. Uh, the Rough Admission says that Big Dan Burn is better than Chilwell. Well, it's a it's a it's a definite competition. <laughs> watching England is like watching Newcastle. Always three weak leagues. Maguire, Chilwell, Gallagher, absolute dog shit. I think Gallagher's doing a fair job. He's he's, he's in for his energy, isn't he? He's, he's he's the Sean Longstaff of this England side, isn't he? Although probably a slightly better version of him. Uh but there you go. Uh do we have game data? Yes, we do. Well, we're actually just edging them out on possession, 51%. Although a lot of their possession has been in their own half, to be fair. Whereas mm. I think we've been quite quite aggressive, decent territory for us. Eight shots to their eight. Have they had eight shots, really? Uh, we, we Equal in each other. It doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel like they've had as good a chance as... I think we've given them quite a few for, for our own mistakes, really, and incompetence. I mean, Watkins should have scored, shouldn't they? Hmm. Yeah, I think Watkins should have scored. That was that was a decent chance. Twelve fouls for Brazil, five for us. We've had five corners. They haven't had any. Paqueta's actually their highest rated player, which is mental. He's had a couple of shots. We had the post, didn't he? King Oddle says Bellingham looks like a footballer when he's on the ball. If you know what I mean, he does. He's a fantastic player. And Foxy says Bellingham is sensational up against a good Brazilian midfield, and he's doing whatever he likes. He's he's outstanding, isn't he? Just a Terrific footballer. Chilwell thinks he's Johnny Wilkinson. Well, yeah. Julie Jay's enjoying it. Uh, Paul Gardner isn't. He thinks it's boring. Uh, Harpel says uh, Gordon is a baller. Well, Fotmob, I'm sorry, but you've absolutely dropped a stinker there. Fotmob's got Chilwell as, as our highest rated player in the first half. <laughs> Fotmob must be run by Chelsea people then. Must be. 19 out of 21 accurate passes. Well, that's nonsense because we've seen him fumble three crosses. Stats are wrong. Sorry, Fotmob, your stats are wrong. We've seen two fumble... No, three fumbled crosses means three failed passes. So you're wrong straight off the bat there. 
And the problem yeah. is, again, he's being credited for two shots, even though those two shots were atrocious. So he's been giving positive score for those two shots, even though they were basically out the stadium. Just ridiculous use of statistics. It's just awful. Two gamers says Gordon's done better than Greenish does in England shirt. And James Madison, I'll, I'll, I'll hasten to add on that left hand side, although he is, of course, that is in his position. But Southgate has shoehorned him in there a few times, hasn't he? And he'd, he'd looked awful. Uh, Gordon's a lot more of a winger winger, whereas Madison is a bit more central, isn't he? Madison it? wants to play this similar way to how Foden wants to play. Mm. Um, and I think that's why it's one or the other. You can't have Bellingham, Foden, and Madison all trying to play in the same spaces. So you've got to pick. Absolutely. Uh, King Hoddle says England are better than Brazil for the first time in living memory. It's official. Well, Brazil have got a few out, of course, haven't they? There's no Marquinhos, no Casemiro, no... No Neymar. Neymar, yeah. Absolutely. And the Gab keeper. Gabriel Jesus, no keepers. Yeah, Alisson and Edison. They, have, they do have a few out. Although, so do we. Well, I mean, we. We don't have Kane up front, so... Exactly. Yeah, a lot of people are criticising Harry Maguire, and quite rightly, he's, <laughs> he's had his moment again, hasn't he? Uh, Gordon done all right then, yeah. Yeah, he has done very well. Very well, as Mason says there. Uh, Paqueta will be dangerous at St James Park, if only for fouls. I mean, he's probably going to injure one of us. He's, he's mm. got away with murder that first half, hasn't he? I mean, he's a great player, but dirty fucker. But when I've watched Brazil lately, they, they do like to keep a foot in and... Italian. They're playing very Italian. Yeah. Yeah. They did that before many years ago. And people know Brazil for the wonderful football they play, but they do have a bit of a, that temperament in them where they like to keep a foot in and it's just showing that finish, finishes junior chance again. Uh, Georgie, lads, I've been keeping track on the Bellingham versus Bruno battle and it's 4 4 at the moment. Walker did really well there to get back there. And if I'm saying that, Venetia Jr. could have got a bit more power on it, couldn't he? I mean, Stato's a Gallagher fan, but Jack McCann isn't. Gallagher's definitely not for me. Like, he had a good five minutes and dropped off a cliff. Chilwell, very poor. I'm a yeah, boy, Jesus. It's about the energy, you know. that They have a very competent midfield, and we've actually controlled a lot more of the game possession-wise. And that's, that's down to unseen work, like Gallagher. Gallagher's doing... Gallagher's doing what we credit Longstaff for, but he's doing it to a much better level in terms of mm. athleticism and pressing. A couple of sloppy passes here and there. He, he does need to, you know, he does need to kind of up his game a little bit, <clears throat> be a bit more careful. But if Gallagher could, could add a little bit more technique, I, again, I feel like I'm talking about Longstaff, but yeah, <laughs> Gallagher's helpful for this midfield. It's one of the reasons why we're in this game um, and we're controlling this game, but it's just chill well. We just Chilwell, need to get well off this pitch, guys. Well, Peter Griffin says, Chilwell, Last Cross is currently orbiting Mars. Well, we uh, could do with anybody. Anybody else that's not Chilwell right now. Anyone. I'd, I'd take Matt Target over what we're seeing from Chilwell tonight. Matt Target would do better than this. Yeah, I agree. I, agree. I don't think Matt Target's good enough for a call-up, but he's able to produce better than this performance without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, Chilwell will not start so steadfast accountancy in business health. Uh, Chilwell is shit, says Mason. Back passes. Uh, this is a fair point. I think Gord has played well and has a good understanding with Jude. Get Chilwell off his crap. I think that's a fair. I think that's a fair comment. Uh, we'll probably see subs at half time, won't we? Given it's uh, friendly, but we shall see. Uh, Rice will score. King Hoddle says Madders needs to play centrally. He's not the same word. I agree, but he's never going to play England, is he? Not he's not going to play centrally in front of Bellingham. Absolutely Ever. not. Ever, absolutely not. So tough shit. Really. Unless he wants to kind of... I don't know. He might come on as a sub, I guess. He can go right, right as well, I guess, but he's, good. He's, he's just going to be a reserve for Bellingham, isn't he? And even then, you're probably going to put Foden ahead of him. Foden, Foden is better than Madison for us, I would say. So, yeah. well, I think he's, he's a better player anyway. I'd say he's 10-20% better than what Madison is. As good as Madison is, he's great. Um, Foden gives you a bit more. And he's not going to play in front of Bellingham. So, but it's a it's a great backup to have. You know, if you need to make changes or there's injuries, Madison for one of those two is is a is a lovely option of rotation to have. Great depth of quality, quality of depth. 
Foxy likes the keeper. I don't want to jinx him, but every time I watch Bento, the more I want him as an upgrade on Pope, does everything to a good standard. He started shaking his saddle, didn't he? But he, he seemed to get into the game as as the game wore on. A couple of nice punches. Yeah, well, he just stayed rooted to his line and his centre-half told him to come and claim it. I think he was just, you know, he's 24. First time, well, I think it's his debut today. So, you know, first time, he's not really going to get games ahead of Alisson or Edison. They're going to be the two rotation players. So, probably a little bit nervous, but... Yeah, he, he looks all right. He's been pretty solid from, from Anthony Gordon's shots and he's been in the right place at the right time. Shaky early doors from that free kick where he wasn't sure if it was going wide or not, but yeah, seems fine. Uh, isn't Neymar past it now? Probably he's got a bad injury, hasn't he? So, uh, well, Jack says, like. I, I know Void would be a great signing. I agree with that. Do you? He'd be terrific. Um, I would have said yes six months ago. I haven't seen a lot of him this season. I haven't watched a lot of Barcelona, so I, I'd, I'd probably I would want to reassess and watch him before I commit to an answer on that. To be honest with you, yeah. Then you're down to ten men, says John. And Magic okay. says Gordon, Jude, and Foden looking good. The rest have been crap, especially Maguire. Uh, Dylan says Dubravka didn't have a good game today. Apparently, apparently he conceded in six seconds, didn't he? To watch, I did watch it. Yeah, they just drove forward from kick off. They had a shot outside the box. And he couldn't get down to his right. He's, he does struggle a little bit with that. Dive into the right. It wasn't It wasn't a good um, goal to concede at all. Uh, Paquette are definitely looking to be on the pitch. So many fouls. Uh, King Hoddle says, Saka Kane, sure out. And anyone not called Maguire. Uh, a few Man United channels saying they would love to have our Bruno. Finally realising the Bruno they have is a Ford. And we've got the best Bruno in the league. I don't think he'd go there, to be honest. No, he would never go to Man United. That would be a massive sidestep at the moment. I don't think they're, you know, in terms of squad level and ability and where we are at the moment, I think we're quite we're quite similar. So, and we're we're only on we're going on the up. They're going to try and, you know, with the new owner go on the up. So, I'd say it was very fifty fifty. The, the decision would probably be based on history. I guess you'd you'd go to them because of history and more trophies historically, but but then you run the risk if it's a pretty toxic place. It can be. Yeah. Uh, Tim Gill says normally we couldn't give a shit about England. I'm just watching because of Gordon and Bruno. Uh, JB ninety one says Chilwell is horrendous. Defined puts Big Dan Burn into perspective. John says Gordon's been good. Uh, Clark says he's looking forward to seeing Endrick. Didn't we do him on a transfer show, Endrick? No, no, no. Endrick got snapped up by Real Madrid almost immediately. <laughs> yeah. Tino should, Tino should have been called up, especially now Walker's gone off. Maybe he will for the next game because there's no right back to the squad, is there? Well, potentially. Yeah, no, Endrick, um, Real Madrid adopted the policy because they, I think they scouted Neymar and obviously he went to Barca. So Real Madrid have vowed never to sort of miss out on that kind of signing again. So that Endrick, they just went straight away. They put the money on the table. Um, they did that sort of over a year ago now. I know not Hendrick, Endrick, <laughs> young Brazilian lad. Ev says dumb it. Unfortunately, he's, he plays for Wales or did. Um, but I think he's, he's a Geordie, but he's Welsh. Figure that one out. Uh, I'm watching because I bet Brazil says Vuti V Sambo. It's a strange name. Uh, How and Southgate always pick their mates as grim trousers. Get Lewis on the squad, says Matt Hames. Uh, Keith says, why has Tino not been picked for the international squad? Versatile, dominant, 1v1, defender versus pace. Terrific athlete. We've got cons with a centre-back on a right-back who was also a good player, though. But I agree with that, actually. I don't know what Tino isn't in the squad. Um, mm. I mean, is he able to be called up in between this game and the next one? Yeah, okay, I guess so. It's only a friendly, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think that's probably... Um, unless we're leaving anyone out, is Trent injured? Yeah, he's, yeah. So if, if we're realistic about it, so Walker's injured, Trent's in, injured, Trippy is injured, Joe Gomez is your is your is your man, but he's not been picked. It's concert who's been brought on. It's got to be Tino. Who else is there? Ben White didn't want to go, so no. But a one nine nine super chat and two game, but might, might as well have Hall over chill. Well, thanks for the super chat, mate. Uh, we'll do a quick plug for this, uh, shall we? Start Do you want to do a bit quick plug for the uh, the patron? There you go. Oh, yeah. So, Patreon, guys. Me me and Billy doing um, transfer shows. 
match reactions. Of course, Billy and Tom are, are pumping out some amazing legends and historical podcasts as well. So it is for five pounds a month, you basically get to listen to extra content from us. So instead of just having um, to wait till the following day for your reactions and, and certain transfer shows when they pop up, you can join the Patreon and listen to them. We do have quite a lot of pre-recorded transfer shows ready to go because we've been linked with loads of players in the last week or so, especially off the news of Botman being injured. So there's loads of people to review. Um, so if you do want to listen to additional content, click on the link, check it out. Um, and yeah, join the Patreon, guys. There you go. Um, Tom and I did a, an hour-long special on Sub Robson the other day, which has come out, and that's a very good listen to as well. Uh, someone just proposed to, one of the Brazilian fans has proposed to his girlfriend in the crowd. Looks like she said yes. The England team are coming out onto the pitch now. Let's get these comments back up again. Um, detailing with the football manager reference as well. Yes, Endrick is one of the only players in the game to have a 200 potential ability for football manager. Although, it doesn't doesn't Yamal have 200 as well? The young Barcelona player. I didn't think you meant Yamal Lasalle's. <laughs> Basically, uh, if football manager are giving you a 200 potential ability, football manager thinks you're going to be Pele, basically. Of course, Tino's he's, injured, isn't he? Mark oh, Spencer. yeah. I forgot he's the ankle. Yeah, so we're, we've gone from having 100 right-backs to none. None. Well, the camera show Richarlison making his way to the Brazil bench and he's shaking hands with Anthony Gordon and having a hug on the switch lines. Oh, yeah, they were both um, Everton. Ugh. Don't touch him, Anthony. Here come the Brazil side. That the, They've made changes, the 25's on. No, Gillian, it's not nice. He's a rat, Richarlison is. We don't like Richarlison. I think our Bruno may, may have gone off, you know. Who's gone off then? Rodrigo's coming back on. Benicio's our, back on. I think, I think it's our Bruno. Paquetta's on. The 25's on, Stato. Who's that? I think Hendrick's on. Uh, I don't know, 21. 21 is Hendrick. It's 25 that's come on. They don't have a 25. Who is 25? Are you sure it's 25? Yeah, I've seen it's not seen the number when it come on. Well, Channel 4 should tell us who it is. Anyway, England about to set the kickoff with Gallagher. Oh, Bruno is there. I can see him on the left-hand side here. Unless 25 started. I don't know. Anyway, we're off. Pickford's launched it. Oh, 25 is Beraldo. He started. Yeah. He started, <laughs> You're confusing yeah. me. Yeah, no changes, I don't, I don't think. No changes. And Brazil did play that nicely out of defence, actually. A little touch from Rodrigo. Royce steps in, takes it away. And rescue a free kick for a foul. By Maguire on. It was Rice. On Maguire? What? It's gone on there. It's Conor Gallagher. He's, he's doing Rodrigo, I think. There. Little push. And then Rice is hitting with his knee <laughs> in the chest. And Rodrigo, of course, will make a meal of this. Uh, John Sorby's gifted five to review memberships. Thanks for that, John. Uh, I don't know that they've gone to, but if you've received a membership from John, Give him a thanks in the chat. And we shall, we shall, we shall know who it was. Chippers, can you stop spamming Jeff Hendrick, please, bud? He wouldn't get near any international side nowadays. I can't, I can't imagine Ireland are calling him up. Well, Ireland played Belgium today and that Evan Ferguson missed a penalty in the first half. It was nil at half time. They're not finished. Anyway, there's pressure coming in on uh, Bento, the keeper, but he did well to get away from it, from Watkins. Uh, and Brazil come away with the ball. Header from Royce. Should fall for Foden. This Foden take it down. He's got Gallagher on the outside of him. Gallagher twitches it back to poor pass. It's cut out uh, from 15. Joao Gomez and a foul from Gallagher. Um, he's running around like a, like a bull in a china shop. And Brazil come away. With Rodrigo. Now Vinny Jr., Back he goes then to 
Bruno. And back to Baraldo. Now Bruno again. Ah, Bruno takes stock, plays it square to Wendell. And then back to Baraldo and Brazil. Calm in possession. Now Bruno, they're a different Bruno, Fabrizio Bruno. Ball down the line to Rafinha, who holds off Chilwell really easily. And Chilwell gets a foot in and be a throw into Brazil. Donival, very animated on the sideline there. Is Guimarães, little backflip, beautiful play from Brazil there with Paqueta. And now Bruno Guimarães goes wide for Rafinha, up against Chilwell. Taking him on the outside, gets a cross in. Pickford takes it into his chest, just on the uh, near post. A beautiful bit of football from Paqueta and Guimarães there. Uh, Pickford with a good throw out, actually, to Gordon. Gordon's on his bike now, down that left touchline. He's got, well, he's got Bellingham not really helping him out there next to him. Rafinha gets back, and now he goes to Bellingham on the further left. Bellingham, well, Bruno, Gordon got took off off the ball there. Cross comes in from, from Bellingham. It's a header over the bar from his own, from the defender there. Will be a corner to England, but Gordon took, got took off off the ball, took out off the ball there. Yeah, the ref just kind of looked over and just walked off. Just didn't, didn't care. Bizarre. Corner to England. Uh, will be Foden to take it. 4 8 on the clock. All the big men are there. Bellingham, Stones, Maguire. And it comes from Foden. Near the keeper. It's a good header there. And the keeper drops it. Oh, good fourth for England play, but cleared. A uh, bit of a melee in the, in the box there. This is uh, Konza. Nods it wide to Foden. Foden does well to flick it. Uh, and it should be a foul, that surely on Stones. Took one to the shins there. And England will get a free kick. He's okay. Paqueta again. Christ almighty. Mm. Walking that tight, right? Oh, blimey. He's getting... I don't know I was getting away with it, but this, this is a real melee in the box. It's a bad tackle as well. It's not just a... Yeah, it's not even a small foul. He's, he's proper kicked out. Anyway, another England oh, free kick on the right-hand side. It's going to be... We've had one, we've had three or four like this already. Declan Rice is going to take this one. It's going to be a floating one for the far post. Looking for the head of... Maguire has got under it. Gordon! Great save, keeper. Uh, Gordon had a great chance there. Got it on target. Bento pushed it out. Oh, Gordon nearly went it back there, but Bruno has it now. Takes it away from Gordon. <laughs> Gordon it's Gordon and Bruno up each the back sides there. And Brazil clear it in the end. But great chance from Gordon. Chua lost his foot race with uh, Rafinha as well. Frustrating. But yeah, great chance for Gordon. Um, obviously, over the head of Maguire at the back, he was he was the intended target. But Gordon popping up at the back post, as he does for us, on target. Lovely, good technique. Kept it down. Good save by the keeper. Bellingham to Chilwell. Down the line for Gordon. Back to Chilwell. Back to Bellingham. And Bellingham's fouled. <laughs> it's not Paquette again. Is it by any chance? No, it's not. It's Charles Gomez. That's his third. Mm. This is getting this is getting silly now. Referee needs to have a word. You need to walk. You need to warn them. There's a lot of arrogance from the referee, but he's got no authority. There's no authority at all. There's no respect there. I think he's that ref that sent Joe Linton off. You know. Remember the Benfica friendly. Mm. I think, I think, that's, I think that's him. England have suffered 15 fouls so far in the game against seven for Brazil. Um, half of them have come from Paqueta. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. England have it with Pickford in his own area. Floats it wide for Esri Konza. Konza's going to get a bit of pressure, but takes it down nicely. Plays it inside for Royce. Little flick from Foden to Gallagher. Gallagher's robbed. Without a foul this time, Bruno. Rodrigo loses out to Bellingham. And that was a foot race between Bellingham and Rodrigo. Two club mates, of course. Uh, Bellingham's going to lose out there. And he did. To Paqueta. But he wins it back. And it goes on the far side to Rafinha. And Brazil can start their attack from deep. 51-22 on the clock. That's the first clean tackle from Paqueta I think I've seen. <laughs> Wendell has it wide in his left-hand side. He plays it inside for Vinny Jr. Uh, it's not it's Rodrigo, actually. Little one-two with Vinny Jr. And he might get it back. He doesn't. He goes backwards then to Gomez. Now, ah, Bruno. Grimares. Bends it wide there for Rafinha. Back he goes then to uh, Danilo. And Danilo comes all the way back to Fabrizio Bruno. And now, Beraldo. 
Wide then to Wendell. Inside then to Grimades. And then back to Fabrizio Bruno. Danilo wide to Rafinha. Chilwell comes close to him, but nice bit of play there from uh, Paqueta. But England will get the ball back. And Gordon took a hefty kick to his, his shin there. And he's down, injured. It's with Watkins against Fabrizio Bruno. Watkins plays it inside for Bellingham. It's quite well. Yeah, it was Belli Paqueta who found him. Gordon, I think he's still down. No, he's, he's back in the picture now. And he's jogging okay. He might receive the ball here. Here he is, Anthony Gordon. Overlap there from Gordon. Now Chilwell. Now Anthony Gordon. One against one against Danilo. This is what he wanted all along. He's got Bruno in support. Cross from Gordon. Oh, good header away uh, from Fabrizio Bruno there. And now it's with Vinny Junior. He's fouled. Uh, and the ref gives a free kick. Foul there from Conta. And again, Gordon didn't really want uh, there, Stato. Yeah, yeah. Squared up to his man, got some space out on the right hand side, and then um, just digged it in. And he, he cleared the first man; he just couldn't quite get it to Watkins. I think. I think it's probably. Did we change Watkins now? He's had a couple of chances. He's not had loads of service, but mm, I don't know. I think Tony's a, a bit of a similar player, maybe a little bit more pace. Yeah. Anyway, it's with uh, Rodrigo going up against Conza. Plays it inside. Uh, it's with Vinny Junior. Little clip over to the far post. Oh dear me! Chilwell knocks it out for a corner. <sighs> I'm not sure what Chilwell could do there. Actually, kick it out for a throw because he did. A, he should have. Well, I'm yeah. being really harsh, but uh, watch this replay. At no point does Chilwell scan right. No scan. No scan. No, no scan. Isn't. No scan. No, isn't. He's got no idea what's over his right shoulder. None. There's a 15 yard run there. He's not got a clue what's behind him, so he boots it out. He scanned after the ball was out of play, which I'm sorry, Ben. Useless, mate. Scanned before. Long corner. Vinny Jr. takes down his chest and he's robbed from Gallagher. And Gallagher just kicks it to touch. Hmm. Connor, mate. Don't know what you were aiming for there. Wendell inside for Bruno Guarnes. Long ball to the far side to Rafinha. Beautiful pass. Chilwell gets in him quickly, but Rafinha manages to hold him off. Got Gordon and Chilwell on him at the minute, Rafinha, and gets it. Well, he didn't because uh, a bit of play from Bellingham gets involved, gets in, in between the ball and, and the defender. Little flick gets off for a throw into England. And now it's with Anthony Gordon. Bellingham got in his way there, actually, and Bruno got a foot in, uh, throw into England. which Chilwell will take all the way back to Harry Maguire. He comes square for John Stones. John Stones back to Maguire. And Maguire, heavy touch, but no one pressed him, luckily. Chilwell, got nowhere to go here, Chilwell. Absolutely nowhere to go. He has to go all the way back to Pickford. And Pickford has it. Just foot on the ball, gives it to John Stones. England reluctant to give the ball to Conso, which is... I guess it's a little understandable because he's not really a right back, but Royce has it in a minute. And he goes back to Pickford. And England getting deeper and deeper here. Maguire and Pickford. I think. There's, there's an error coming here. There's an error coming in here. You can see it coming a mile off, can't you? In the end, they get it out to Conte. So he's got a bit of space to move into, but didn't take it. And Joao Gomez got a foot in. I think we could do with a <coughs> midfield change. I think, I think Gallagher's probably due to come off now. He's not... A little bit flat from him. Uh, maybe a forward change as well. Who have we got on the bench midfield-wise? Who makes sense? We've got... Ensign. Mm, Mainu. Yeah, maybe Mainu. Madison's anyway. not a full... A anyway, Bruno Gabardes, great effort. Oh, good block from Chilwell that time. Did well to get in front of the ball there. Good ball from Bruno to Rafinha and Chilwell actually defended well then. Did well to get across, got his foot in front of the ball. It actually could come off his nuts and out of play it went for a corner. But he did well to get it. did well there, Chilwell, well, for the first time. Corner for Brazil, which uh, Rafini will take. Yeah, I think probably 
Mainu and Tony would be my two changes now. It's a short corner from Brazil. Back it comes then. Kumares back to Rafinha. Got a bit of space now. Tries to curve in. It's a long, it's a good cross, but it's good out of the way uh, from Conta. Foul on Gordon there. Surely to God. Anyway, Foden's doing a bit of pressing here, and Brazil have got to get rid of this quickly. It's with the 25, Beraldo. Back across he goes to Danilo. Now Bruno Gomares, wide, Danilo. Back he goes to Fabrizio Bruno, and Brazil getting in a bit of a tangle there. Maguire gets ahead in. Foul on Gordon. Referee plays advantage. It's a good one too. Bellingham. Gordon does really well to follow up and take, take the ball past uh, Bruno. Bruno need to get a foot in. Gordon's still going. <laughs> Miss Tony's jumped somewhat there. And Bruno brings the ball away. But it's a poor ball for Bruno. Chilwell. Oh, dear me. Christ almighty. You went to see this, though. Is it Chilwell? Oh, <laughs> get him off. Get him off. <laughs> Please get Ben Chilwell off the oh, pitch. Dear me. Oh, Christ. Ah, oh, dear. Play more like Benny Hill. I'd rather have an injured Carl Walker on at left back at the moment. England England did with the ball back with Foden. Ball forward there to Gallagher. Now Gordon wide on the far side. Rafinha goes past Rafinha. A little ball to Chilwell. It's a good overlap from Chilwell. He's in the box. Terrible pass. Gordon could pick it up. Gordon plays it from Bellingham. Oh, too, too, too intricate, long distance shot from Rice. What, uh, Stones, in fact, who stepped up into the attack and wide it went. But good effort. Reasonable attacking run there from Chilwell, but couldn't pick anyone out. Yeah, it was a great That's run, right. but his pass was awful, wasn't it? Good cover, though, from, I think it might have been, Joao Gomez. Anyway, Brazil have a goal kick. Which the defender will take. Are we going to have a sub here? No. Back to the give he goes. And Bento chips it. It's not the greatest ball in the world. Because Chilwell got his head to it. Now it's Gordon. Or well, he might be offside there, Gordon. And yeah, ball it was too far in front of him uh, from Jude Bellingham. Nearly an hour on the clock. We're going to see change in the hour, I imagine. Yeah, I mean, are people saying they don't want to see Maynou, but there's no midfielders on the bench, guys. It, yeah, it's, Cole it's, him or, it's It's got to be. It's got to be him. There's no one else. If you want somebody to pl to change for for Rice or or um, what's his face Gallagher. Gallagher's the obvious change, but so the people that could play his position is what? Madison doesn't play that deep. Mainu's the only player. He's the only player on the bench that can play that role. I'm not saying he deserves to start or play, but he's the only profile player that we could potentially sub on, really, unless we change shape. We've got the, it's an hour on the clock, and there's, well, there's no changes as yet. I thought I'd expect to see change on the hour, Mark. We haven't. Um, Brazil have it deep in their half with. Uh, Beraldo is going to come wide to Wendell. That's a terrible pass. We're going to keep it in just forward ball then to uh, Rodrigo. Back to Bruno Gomares. Now it's with uh, Rodrigo again. Nice play from Brazil there. Now it's Vinny Jr. Little chip over the top. It's a great ball. And it's uh, Joao Gomez, but Pickford was alive to it and came out and cleared it. Long ball forward. This could fall in the feet of Bellingham. Bellingham's tried to chip the key from 20 yards and overhit it by 20 yards. I mean, maybe Madison for Foden would be a reasonable change now because Foden's gone a bit quiet as well. Yeah, Foden's come inside more, hasn't he? Past five minutes or so. Anyway, long ball from the Brazilian centre half looking for well, a terrible jump from Stones. And if, well, that's not a foul. If the referee gives that, <laughs> don't think he even touched him, you know. He fell over 10 yards away. The ref didn't blow up, in fact. And now it's Anthony Gordon wide on the far side, running against Danilo. Will he cut inside? He's going to cut inside one. Goes his, oh, did brilliant to get past Bruno, but the third player took it off him, and now Bruno has it. Bruno's been pressured by Gordon. Gordon's after him here. <laughs> the two new guys, and Bruno gets, almost gets past Gordon, and uh, Rice gets back to knock it out of play. But good play from Guimaraes to get the ball up the pitch. Uh, Anthony Gordon couldn't take off him. Uh, tried, but didn't make contact with the ball or the player, luckily. It's funny how, how well Bruno does at dribbling when he's not fast. Yeah. 
Well, maybe that is a foul. <laughs> oh, I don't know. He made a bit of a meal of it, didn't he? To be fair, sixty-two he minutes has on the clock. His hand on his head. <laughs> Elite Kelly says, as, as uh, Southgate and Eddie got the same clock. I mean, usually friendlies are ruined by substitutes anyway, because they're in the attack here, and a little chip ball over to the far side to Vinny Jr. A little outside of the ball, chip into the box, headed away from Maguire. Bruno, great little pass out. Good effort. Oh, great effort from Paqueta. Great ball from Bruno. And the outside of the foot shot from Paqueta just went wide. Looked really close from, from the far side. Let's see this angle. Lovely pass from Bruno. First time. Oh, that is close, isn't it? Good Lord. First time as well. Cool, blimey. That's a fantastic effort. But what a pass from Bruno started. Yeah, outside of the right foot. Accurate. And Paqueta read it as well. First time shot. It, it was a nice little move. Closest they've come apart from uh, the early doors chance from Vinicius. And hitting the post, of course. Uh, Jared Bowen's warming up. Head from Watkins is poor, straight to a Brazil player, and it goes back to Boaldo. Watkins has been very poor, I think, Stato. Well, he's not had loads of service, but yeah, he's not really done a lot either when he's been given the opportunity. So, no. And he's not gotten involved in the press or anything, has he? You know, Cons has fouled He did in the first 15 minutes, but there's not been a lot since. Across from Gallagher, looking at the far post, where get Bellingham comes in, heads it across goal, but it goes wide. It's a great leap from Bellingham. He might hurt himself. Oh, he's got a bit of cramp. Get Bellingham. In the wood of the foul, they didn't get one. The ref played advantage of it. Was a quick free kicking fact. It's a great cross from Gallagher. It's a great leap from Bellingham, nodding it across. Uh, and Danilo and uh, Fabrizio Bruno were giving. Jude Bellingham, the cramp uh, treatment. Maybe he'll go off and we'll see, we'll see Madison come on. It's a great leap. And it's a good header. And Watkins didn't anticipate it, did he? That's the problem there. No, he was just trying to be in between in between those two centre halves. Right, we've got Lewis Duncan, Joe Gomez. Hmm. Little, nudge, little nudge on uh, on Kitchell from Rafinha. Chill well to his back, gets well, does well, gets back and clears it. Little flip from Gordon, head on from Royce into the path of Bellingham. Now Gordon square. That's a poor ball from Gordon. Rob there, uh, Gallagher. That was Gordon's poor pass. And now it's Brazil on the attack with Rodrigo. Rodrigo's wide with Vinny Jr. Little chip ball headed away from uh, John Stones. Now Baraldo goes round the challenge of uh, Watkins easily. Now Bruno Guimaraes. Ball forward there for Paqueta. White to Rafinha. And Brazil's starting to get a little bit of a foothold in this half now. It's been mostly England, most of it. But Brazil's starting to get a bit of a foothold in it. Wendell. White to Vinny. Going up against Conzoria on this left-hand side. Back inside it goes for Rodrigo. Rodrigo inside Gallagher. Joao Gomez is robbed. Good tackle there. And Royce brings it away. He's going to, oh, he's going to go for a free kick and gets one. Stato. Yeah, I mean, this is why I was asking for subs five minutes ago. We're just starting to lose a bit of control of this game. We could do with a bit more um, um, some fresh legs. Uh, you know, I'm not a massive fan of Manu being the only option to come on in, in sort of a general midfield role, but we could do with some more legs. Well, we're getting some um, legs now. We're going to get Jared Bone for for uh, Jude Bellingham, which means I imagine Phones going to come inside. Hmm. Go Gomez is coming on for Ben Chilwell. And that Lewis Dunk. Needed. Lewis Dunk, I imagine, for Harry Maguire. Jude Bellingham's had a good game, Sato. Yeah, he's been exceptional. I mean, the, the commentator just said it there. It's a privilege to watch him each, each time he plays. We know we've got a generational talent on our hands. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a shame he's got to come off. Yeah, game as the left back. What a strange 11 we've got on the pitch now. And Lewis Duncan for Maguire. Well, I imagine Declan Rice will take the captain's armband. 
or John Stones, one of the two. We just have to see what happens here. Six or seven on the clock. Still Crazy no goals. Watkins is still on. It is, isn't it? Lewis Dunn gets his first touch and back he goes to Pickford. Not nice poor from Pickford out for Konza. Konza took an ace to bring it down and got fouled from Joao Gomez. That must be about his 20th foul as well. John Stones does have the captain's armband. You know what? I'm not overly against this back four. I'm not super keen on the Joe Gomez slotted in, but... But he can literally play anywhere across back four, can't he? Which is, you know, that's why he's fantastic. Mind this back four. We're not going to get flying fullbacks in this shape, but... Danilo has it. Pressure from Gordon just gets away in time with a crossfield pass to Wendell. Handball from Bowen and it'll be a free kick to Brazil. I'm a fan of Joe Gomez, I've got to say. I really am. Yeah, I mean, it means we haven't got flying fullbacks, but when you when your wingers are, are Bowen and Anthony Gordon, it's, it's not it's not all doom and gloom. Foden's gone central, so I, I like Dunk next to Stones. I, I think it's quite a balanced setup, to be fair. Bowen there, uh, Bowen to Gallagher. Gallagher's gone ahead of him. Gallagher comes back, back to uh, Declan Roy. No, it's John Stones, in fact. Stones is really well. Gives it to Gallagher, back then to Konza. And now Declan Royce. Little one-two with Foden, who's come central now. And now Joe Gomez, wide he goes to Gordon. Goes inside on the on the inlap, in the interlap, or hinterlap, we want to call it, underlap. Um, but now it's with Royce. And the ball comes on the other side of the pitch to uh, Joe Gomez. Sorry, every contact. Bowen. Royce has it now. Foden wants it. Foden picks it up. He goes square to... Dunk, who's very advanced. Back to Royce. Gallagher. And then back. Very static from England, this. Stones. Little floaty pass then to Konza. Konza can advance a little bit, and he does. Little board in the back there for Gallagher. Good run. Oh, that could be a penalty. And the ref didn't give it. And he's basically told Gallagher he, he dived. You should see this. That's an interesting one. Well, again, it's another one of those situations where if you think it was a dive, you've got to book him. Or you've got to give him the pen. Well, I think if this was in the Premier League, VAR would be looking at this. He's definitely made contact. Has he gone down too easily? Anyway, it's changes mm, for Brazil. No, I don't think that's a pen. Pekatar's coming off. And uh, the, the Fulham player, Pereira's coming on. Oh, Hendrick's coming on. So number 21 for Brazil, Hendrick. He's the one that everybody thinks is going to be the next Pele. Real Madrid snapped him up as a 16-year-old. He's... He's not at Madrid yet. He, he's staying in Brazil until he's old enough. Yeah, so Paquetta's off for Andres Pereira, uh, the Fulham player. And here's, here's Jeff. <laughs> you couldn't get more polar opposites, I imagine. It's very young, precocious-looking youngster, isn't he? Mm, big moment, this, guys. For for people watching, Endrick, remember who, remember who he is. He's meant to be the next, well, absolute superstar. He's on for Rodrigo. God, it looks about 10. 17 and a half minutes have gone and uh, Brazil have a throw in deep in their own half. And, uh, well, Baraldo made a complete hash of that and end up with an England play, England throw in very deep in the half. Bowen has the ball. He doesn't want to take it. He wants to leave it for Konza. And here comes Konza eventually to take it. To Foden, back to Konza. Good tackle up from Bruno Gramades. And Bruno, in his natural self, trying to G the crowd up. Unfortunately, they're all England fans. Um, but he, he enjoyed that. <laughs> He's forgotten. He really enjoyed that, Bruno. Had a good game, Bruno, hasn't he? Had, you know, steadying game. Done some good defensive stuff and some nice passing also. I think he's missing. He's got the same problem in this Brazil side that he's, he's had with us in recent weeks. He doesn't have anyone else physical to really help him. Paqueta's mistimed everything and given away fouls. Um, he can, I'll tell you who he needs next to him. He needs Douglas Luiz. Brilliant from Gordon. Hey, he lays it in for Watkins. Well, Watkins is waiting. Well, how, how long does he want? Gets the ball across in the end. Did all right in the end, but Brazil get it away. But he wants too much time, doesn't he? Watkins. No, get him yeah. off. That's it for Watkins, I'm afraid. That's, that needs to be his last play. 
he wants too much time, doesn't he, at this level? He's, he's too indecisive, in my opinion. Commentators flattering him there for being slow, calling him patient. Nah, I, I, I get him off. <laughs> give Tony a go. I don't like Ivan Tony, but give him a go. Anyhow, Brazil on the attack, far side of the pitch. It's with uh, Rafinha. Cut out from Declan Rice, but it might fall. Or oh, Dunk missed out there. And Brazil on the attack here. It's well, a good block from Dunk in the end. And England can't bring it away. No, they can't because it's with Vinny Jr. Vinny Jr. taking on Esri Conza. Gets a crossing. Oh, nodded away. Charles Gomez going past two. And he's running into the same path as Vinny Jr. And Brazil. <laughs> You can love this, Sato. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, dear me. Wee. Down he goes. Oh, dear. Landed on his nuts as well <laughs> on the ball. Dear me. I mean, that's a confusing comment. What? How has ruined Watkins? I think it's like <laughs> What? <laughs> Anyway, England changes Marcus Rashford, and I'm gathering this will be for Anthony Gordon. No. Oh, no, brilliant play from no, Bowen. No. Brilliant play from Bowen. Brilliant play from Bowen. He's gone past four, and Bowen's now being approached by, well, I think it's Bruno Gabardes. Terrific play from Bruno. Bowen went past four players there, uh, and it took Bruno to come back. Bruno cheering again. He's had a fantastic <laughs> game, Bruno. He really has. He has, yeah. He went past he went past about four players, but a fantastic run. But unfortunately for him, War Bruno came across and cut everything out. Brilliant. Yeah, all right, Pilkey, mate. Sarcasm doesn't really come across in text, does it? Pipe down. <laughs> Cheeky little flick from Hendrick there. It was. Here's Rashford. It's going to be for Gordon and Mainu as well. Uh, Main who's on for Gallagher, and I can guarantee that uh, Rashford will be for Gordon, unless it's for Watkins, of course. And put, and let's put you know Rashford through the middle, but I can't see it. So, you know, mainly for Gallagher was was predictable. Um, I don't think Rashford deserves to be up. Who's Rashford's going to replace? Please, not Anthony Gordon. It is Gordon, yeah. It's no. Gordon. Un, un, unjustified. Gordon's probably been our best player. I mean, I don't think Rashford deserves to be in the squad, if I'm perfectly honest. No, he doesn't at all. Disgraceful. But anyway, Rashford's on for Gordon. Well, we only have our Bruno to cheer now. No, I'm irritated by that substitution. It wasn't necessary. I mean, it's good for it's good for Newcastle. It means he gets rested, but <clears throat> he was our most dangerous player. Rashford is in poor form. He's been poor for a long time. Barely deserves it, even a, t a place in this squad. Never mind getting minutes on the pitch. But a good debut from Gordon. I mean, he has had a good a good debut. Um, we can be pleased with that. But yeah, it's a bit, it seems a bit unfair. But it, 75 minutes, good first appearance. And England are messing around with it in the back here, and this could go pear shaped, very sharpish. Pickford, well, it was pressure from Pereira. Now it's with Mainu. Mainu, while well, he's running, well, he ran towards the player he was passing to there and put him under a little bit of pressure. Dunk has it, he's getting pressure from Hendrick, but it goes inside for Pickford. And now John Stones, or is it Declan Roy? Declan Roy's come deep to receive it, gives it to Bowen. And then to Declan Rice again. Mainly standing behind a player. Hate seeing that. John Stones has it. And he's doing it again, look. <sighs> Hiding behind players. I don't hate to see it. Dunk has it. Mainly receives it now and plays it square for Rice. Now Mainly, little one two with Rice. Mainly again will come square for Conza. Ball in for Watkins, who ran away from the ball. He's been absolutely dreadful, Watkins. He really has. Bento getting a bit of pressure. But they get away, get away with it. And John Stone steps in and intercepts. He wants a player wide. 
and then comes it away. Now it's Cody Maynard. Cody Maynard, I should say, not Cody. Stones again. Square he goes to Rice. Now Rashford's hard, standing behind the player. Look, oh, it really annoys me. Gets it in the end. Here's Rashford. One touch to Foden. Little one two. And a good tackle there from Rafinha. Take it off Rashford. And Rashford fouls uh, the Brazil player. First contribution by Rashford is a foul. Shocking. Mm, just shocking. And Don't it's stare at the referee as if you knew, as if it was a mistake. You know, uh... And it's our Bruno as well, who's been absolutely fantastic and probably the man of the match, actually. And mm. now Rafinha's coming off for the 20. Douglas Lloyd's coming on. Yeah, Savio, he's raved about as well. Who's yeah. Savio? Is he? He's the he's the guy that City have just bought off Girona, isn't he? Is that him? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he called, uh, are Bruno's coming off? Yeah, for Louise. For Douglas Louise, but a very good game from Bruno. Two best players on the pitch, I'd say, Stato. Oh, maybe Bellingham. Um, I, I'd say R two, to be completely honest. I mean, if I'm try, if I try and take a step back and not be biased about it, um, I think maybe I think Pickford's been really solid. To be fair, I don't, obviously we don't like him, but he's been really solid. Bellingham was really, really dangerous. Yeah, Pickford, Bellingham, Gordon, Bruno for them. Vinicius has had a mixed game, a few mistakes and slips. Stones has been pretty solid too, hasn't he? Yeah, Stones has been okay. Anyway, it's with Cons up. Over the halfway line in England, maybe it's one of search for a winner. It has turned into a into, into a friendly kind of game now, though, hasn't it? It's uh, there's no, there's, The intensity isn't there now. Anyway, Maynard does well to get away from uh, Joel Gomez and plays it square for Royce. Wide to Rashford. Rashford picks it up. Back to Royce. And our main new again, it's going to come backwards. It's 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 very much testimonial, friendly, no intensity. It's, the substitutions have kind of killed the game. Little ball over the top, looking for the run there of Watkins. Uh, it was Gomez, in fact, who'd gone marching forward. Here's Hendrick. And uh, the 19 gets a tackle on him, but it falls to Pereira. That looks offside. Uh, the flag should go up, but Vinicius Jr. carries on. It's a 1-0 to Brazil. Hendrick scored, but I think it's going to be a flag. Mm. He's still celebrating, so there's no flag. 1-0 Brazil, Hendrick scored. Yeah, I mean, I think is it? I think Hendrick was offside in the build-up, but it, because it was Vinicius who got the original touch. I don't know. Surely it's going to be reviewed. Is what there no it? VAR? I don't imagine so. I don't imagine so. It's only a friendly, isn't it? But this must... It's... I thought it was offside straight away. So the ball's in the back of the net for Brazil, guys. Hendrick scored. It's but they, they did look okay. miles well, offside. I well, I don't know. Is, 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 is Dunk playing him on? Dunk might have been playing him on, you know. There's no offside from then. No, Hendrick's well, offside. And... No, but then, it, does it count? Is that the same phase? If he never gets it's, back onside, he's, he's offside, isn't he? The line mm. doesn't flagged anyway. I think that's got to be disallowed, surely. Because End Endrick was offside when that ball's come play played over the top for, for Vinicius. I mean, Vinicius looks offside as well, to be fair. No, I mean, v Vinicius looks like he's also very, very close to whether it's level or not. There's definitely a possibility that both of them are offside. God's been given. You're kidding. I mean, that's... I think both of them are off, to be completely honest. I don't even think it's close. Yeah, well, second phase for Hendrick. Mm. Cheeky. Very cheeky. Well, since the subs came on, the intensity from England has definitely died off. Well, that's what we get for, for trying to just dink it around and not do anything. Anyway, contact it now. Now it's with Bowen. Back to Pickford. 80, 
nearly to 82 minutes on the clock, eight minutes for England to get an equaliser. Uh, they don't deserve to be down, but still. Gomez has it now. Back to Dunk. Dunk made just play. I mean, there was no lines or anything, was there? So mm, we didn't strange. get shown any lines. Very, very strange. Bowen has it. He was fouled there, but the play on. Watkins loses out yet again. But absolute dog shit, Watkins. Charles Gomez. Very rich chucks in here and Bowen takes it off him and he's fouled and he's give the foul again. The Lloyd was given it against Bowen. <laughs> what? Because <clears throat> he's thrown his hands on his face doesn't mean it was a foul. Awful stat from Channel 4 there. One goal in this match. Thank, thanks for that. But they're showing the offside there, the one that's earlier. Not, yeah, that's not what we needed to see. And even then he looked offside anyway. Uh, no, that's not how that works. But it's in the previous one that, that we needed to see the lines for. I mean, that's off. <laughs> There's no lines in that one. Ridiculous. No. Anyway, England do have it with Rashford on the far side. Ball inside, piss poor. Uh, and Brazil can bring it away. But they do lose out. Mainly nearly win it back. Ball comes to Finicius Junior. A little ball inside. And Brazil can counter us like here. But they don't seem too keen to. That's a brilliant bit of play there from wherever it was. I don't know who it was. It may have been Wendell. Vinicius Junior is winning at Conza. And Bone come up to, back to help out. And he went back to Wendell. And now Brazil just keep the ball now. 84 on the clock almost. And it's with Danilo, the captain. Chip forward, looking for Pereira. Gomez makes a hash of that. Pereira takes it. Yeah, you need to update the banner, Billing. So I do. Well, I've not been not been too pleased with uh, Lewis Dunk so far, which is a shame because I bigged him up. I do like him as a player, but he's not, he's not done particularly well tonight. Oh, I don't know what Watkins has got to do to get subbed off, honestly. Why bring Ivan Tony if he's not if you're not going to bring him on at this point when, when Watkins has done so little? I, I, well, I imagine Ivan Tony will start against Belgium, won't he? And he'll just do have the ball. Full game. Yeah, he must have done. Vinny has it now, going up against Konza. He's got three men around him. Vinny floats to the far side. Gomez should get ahead to it. Does. Rashford, very lazy there. Let the ball be took off him. Terrible from Rashford, that. And now Brazil can keep control of the possession again. He's walking. He's not following his runner. Oh, I hate Marcus Rashford so much on a pitch. He's so lazy. It's unreal. Oh, my God. Chatsport thinks he's not taking Tony or Gordon or Bowen. He'll take Gordon after tonight's performance. Anyway, Ward is back and Foden's putting a bit of pressure on. Uh, now Rashford's trying to put a bit of pressure on, but he's easily played around. Pereira and Danilo, easily. Long ball down the middle, looking for the win of Endrick. Pickford's come out to, to marshal that. And What's play our pressing structure here? We've got Rice up top, Bowen deep, Watkins out right. What are we doing? His main what is the shape? <laughs> Southgate, what, what are you doing? Here's Rice. Was I'm so confused. To Rashford. Got Gomez on the overlap. Rashford comes inside to, to Rice and picks up again. Oh, Christ. That is so negative, Rashford. Just do something with the ball. If you Look at this. It's just, you know, it's walking pace. Football. Oh, we're losing, Rashford. Gomez with a long ball. Cross. Bowen taking it down to the far post. Well, far side of the area. Back to Konza. Stones is there available, but he goes all the way across to Dunk. Dunk will go all the way to Royce and then over to Rashford. He can go against his defender. It's Gomez, in fact. He shows a little bit of uh, attacking impetus. Now Foden. Foden steps away from uh, Char Gomez. And now it's Rashford again inside for Gomez. Little ball across. Ain't a bad one. But it's cut out from the 16, Douglas Louise, And it will be chipped away. 
And that was with Danilo. And Brazil get out of a tight spot very convincingly. Little flick ahead of him, dunked Stones in the centre circle, in the Brazil half, into Mainu. Mainu's passed backwards every time he's got the ball or sidewards. And now it's Rashford's got a lot of space here. And going up against Danilo, Danilo just slides in, takes the ball off him, no problem whatsoever. And then Royce gets in with a tackle uh, to take it away from the number 20. Who is the Man City bound Savier? Rashford apologising. Yeah, just do better. Just don't don't do those things that are going to cause cause you to have to apologise. It's just not good enough. It's got to be done playing the ball on him, isn't it? It's got to be. And then second phase, Hendricks on side. Then great little bit of play there. From Vinny and a little floaty ball out to this far side to uh, 21. Hendrick. Hendrick with a bit of trickery. <laughs> Tried to go around Conza. Conza said, no, thank you. And Conza lost out. And the ref gave a free kick. Rashford came on for Gordon Clare and he's been absolutely dog shit. Anyway, Brazil going to make two more changes here. Uh, time wasting exercises, surely. 26 coming on. Whoever he may be, and the number four, who I think is Bremer, who plays for Juventus. It is Bremer and Pablo Maia. Pablo Maia plays for Sao Paulo. 22 years old. Vinny Jr. is one of the ones going off. He's off for Maia. And Bremer will be on for one of the centre It's In fact, he's going on for Wendell. So Wendell for Bremer and Vinny for Maya. Oh God. I just can't watch more Southgate ball. I'm just so done with it. It was such a positive start as well. We were the better team in the first half. Yep, we were. Phone goes back to Conza. Conza goes all the way back to Pickford. We're in the final minute of the of the 90. Now it's with Rashford. Rashford's with a little chip over the top looking for Watkins. Watkins gets in front of uh, Fabrizio Bruno. He's going nowhere, is he? He's got his little chip in, but Brazil clear it quite convincingly and easily. <laughs> Hendrick pushes. Well, gets away one now, Hendrick. He, he fouled Dunk there. <laughs> we tried a little backflip. didn't quite work. And he wanted a free kick, didn't get one. Rice, wide to Rashford. This is a chance for England, actually. Rashford going against Danilo. Oh, Serious to God. Absolutely had no idea what he was doing there. Well, I mean, a few people have said that in the chat. At least at least this is going to show the, the, the national, well, the nation, people watching this game, that they've seen a stark contrast between Gordon and Rashford. Neutrals can see this. So hopefully the media is not going to be able to cover it up with silly articles. It's night and day different. You can see that Watkins isn't isn't at the races at all. Doesn't suit the England setup at the moment. He's doing fine for Villa, but he just looked awful in this system today. We're in the first minute of four added on uh, and there's lots of England fans have left, I have to say. A little flip from Watkins to Lord's Bowen. Uh, but Bremer has it and plays it all the way back to the keeper. And the keeper gives it a bit of Peter Kay. And Rashford missed on his jump and heads it to nobody in particular and then plays it to nobody in particular. But England do end up with the ball. Conta has it. Gives it to Maynou. Maynou's probably going to go square again because that's all it is. Yeah, he's going forward here. But he's run forward and then plays it forward. And he does go forward to Gomez. And now Rashford has a bit of a chance, but he's come backwards on himself and plays it back to Maynou again. And Manu comes backwards. We're one down, guys. For fuck's sake. Rice. Inside then for Bowen, who tries a little fancy flick. Didn't work. Bowen does get a foot in and wins the ball back. But great play there from, I think it's uh, Bremer. And he plays it down the line. Rice as well to cover. Does really well, in fact. Uh, and we're nearly halfway through the, the added four minutes. 
Dunk. Rashford. Dunk again. And that's a pass to absolutely nobody. Absolutely terrible. But England do re retrieve the ball with Konza. Now it's just with uh, Rice and now Stones. Little chip ball to the far side where Rashford has a bit of space. Takes it down. Savio's against him. As is Pereira. Now Dunk. Now Rice from distance. Can, can hit it. Goes wide for Konza. It's just going nowhere here. Floaty ball to the far post. Looking for Watkins. Oh, my God. It's Rashford, in fact. That's absolutely dog shit. Took his eye off the ball and headed it. Well, he didn't, didn't head jump it, did he? either. That's absolutely death dress, but he took his eye off it, shit his eyes, didn't jump. Good clearance from Danilo. It's so lazy not jumping for a header. No, don't put your hands on your head. You don't even jump for headers. Oh, it's just disgraceful. England probably with one last chance here. We've got a minute left. And they keep going to Rashford as if he's some sort of saviour. Cuts inside on himself. Little right foot across. Nobody in the middle there. It's Rashford's uh, Royce volleys it. It could come from a corner. Will the Brazil player keep it in? He doesn't. It's going to be a throw into England. Very close to the corner flag. <laughs> Joao Gomez, who's somehow escaped with the yellow card this game. Delaying the game there as well. Royce to Maynou, to Royce, to Bowen, to Konza. Should have crossed it in first time, didn't. Went back to Maynou. Maynou goes square across the area to Stones. Stones floated wide to Rashford. Rashford, we've got 30 seconds left. Rashford cuts back on himself. And goes backwards. And England are going to lose out here. Gomez steps in. Plays a ball forward and, well... It's a far post. Has to get that in the box. It's a corner ball, so it's England's last chance. The four minutes are up. Rashford's gone out to take it. Royce has gone out to off the well, oh, Rashford taking it. Royce is taking it. Rashford's come away from it. Yeah, too right. Rice is a much better corner taker. Stones in the middle. Watkins is there. Um, Dunk will be. I imagine will be in there too. Conor's and Gomez. There should be some big men in there now. Four centre half on the pitch, so there should be some big men in there. Bowen's also in there. Good delivery here from That's England. Bad from get, an e get an equaliser here. Here's Royce with his arm up. In swinger. Looking for an England head. Doesn't get one. Great defensive header. Gomez. Now it's Maynou. Oh, Maynou didn't did anticipate it at all. And it's a break. Three against one. It's three against Gomez. He's got Hendrick to the left and he's got Pereira to the right. Goes to Pereira into Hendrick and a great save, Pickford. That could, have been, that could have been the end of it there. Brazil, well, that's the end of the game. 1-0 to Brazil. And a goal from Mendrick wins it. Very controversial goal, but there you go. 1-0 to Brazil, Stato. Disgraceful from Gareth Southgate. I know it's a, I know it's a friendly, but I, I liked... The starting eleven was okay. I, I liked it. I liked the intent. I liked the pressing. I liked some of the build-up. We were the better team in the, in the first half. And then I just felt like he's wasted the second. I, I understand we've got a second game to play, but we just took our foot off the gas. We just made some arbitrary random substitutions. It was poor. It was poor tactically. Um, I, I don't think Rashford was the right choice at all. Just just strange. Strange. I'm surprised Madison didn't at least get 20 minutes. Foden kind of it wasn't in the game. We didn't use, despite Jared Bowen being quite useful on the right, didn't use him much. Such a promising first half. Um, but Southgate again proving he's he's well out of his depth at this level, well out of his depth. He's not going to be able to manage this talent. If you if you look at look on paper at the France squad, is there expectation for the France squad to win a major trophy? Yes, absolutely. Um, and then you look at the kind of names we've got on paper for for England in in Kane and um and Bellingham and players of that elk and John Stones, the centre half is just want to treble. There's no reason we we shouldn't be trying to do the same, and it's it's just not it's not good enough. We've not got a good enough manager that we're picking the wrong players. Silver lining: the two NUFC lads, Anthony Gordon and, and Bruno Guimarães, had, had had great games. The both of them, um, really really positive. N no injuries for them as far as we're aware, and look really good. So, but yeah, not a good night for England. Very poor from Southgate again. Poor decision making in that second half. Poor substitutions. I want him gone. I've wanted him gone for years. 
And for those that are saying that England aren't really a, a power in, in world football, you, you you have to see the Brazil celebrations here. They're really, really, really proud of their work tonight. Well, I think it was that it was Hendrik. Um, I think Hendrik's goal means a lot in that. It wasn't just the against us thing. Hmm. Anyway, that's it. We've come to the end of the show, folks. We've been going for two hours and ten minutes. Uh, England have been defeated by Brazil uh, by a score of one to nil. Uh, the two Newcastle United players did themselves proud. Bruno was probably Brazil's best player, and Gordon was probably ours. So, and that's not really being biased either, although some might say it, well, it is. Um, but we've, we've come to the end of the show, folks. Uh, one 0 Brazil. Let's remove that banner because I don't want to see it anymore. Um, and we shall see you again. I don't know if we've got anything tomorrow or not, Sarah, have we? Um, what have we got? We've, we've got the England game on Tuesday, so I think we've got a few sh- a few shows lined up, guys, early next week. I'm not sure if we've got anything tomorrow, but check check on the uh, on Twitter. So follow the Tune Review, which is which is what Paul's using on on um, on Twitter, or make sure you're subscribed and the notification bell switched on, and you'll see when the shows are scheduled. Anyway, so I don't think so, but but keep an eye out just in case. And if not, we will be back for shows definitely um, early doors next week. One hundred percent. Give us a like on the way out, folks. Thanks ever so much for your time tonight. Have a fantastic rest of your Saturday. Well done to the mods also. Uh, thank you to Stato for joining me too. Uh, but until the next time we see you, which will be pretty soon, wish you all a very good good night, good Saturday night. I'm not away the lads in. It's England. Bad three lions. <laughs> good night, everyone. Come back and check on some green.